I howdy howdy howdy. Uh, this is nice. This is gonna be a nice, just calm stream. It's gonna be a nice, just relaxing stream. There's not gonna be, um, there's not gonna be any cussing. There's not gonna be any cursing. There's not gonna be any tilting. This is just gonna be a nice, relaxing stream. We're gonna put our little tootsies up. You know, GDQ is going on right now. Um, game's done quick. This is going to be, uh, okay, don't, okay, don't, okay, hello, Tony. We'll talk about Tony in a minute. This is going to be, uh, GDN. Game's done nice. Because we're just going to, this is going to be just a nice, relaxing stream. Uh, we're going to play Zelda 2. Yo, who wants their dick sucks? Me. Uh, we're going to. We're gonna we're gonna play Zelda 2, the Adventure of Link, and um, it's gonna we're gonna continue the race from last time. Now, if you didn't see part one of the race, here's what you need to know. I'm gonna get you caught up. One, there's a multi-stream. I don't know if Pelly is live right now. Uh, you can check that. I don't I don't know if he went live yet or not. But when he does, or if he is. Uh, you can uh, click on the multi-stream and you can get both of us. If you don't want to do that, though, I've got a little box in the corner of him. What he's up to. But um, let me get you caught up on the race. Uh, we're playing Zelda 2. And if you didn't know, Zelda 2 is fucking hard. Um, it is a very, very difficult game. And we are playing it fully blind. Him and I, I know a couple of tricks. I know a little, a uh, couple of things up my sleeve. But overall, him and I have no idea what we should be doing in that game. And that's the point. It's a blind race. We don't want tips. We don't want hints. We don't want backseating from you guys unless we ask for it. We just want to be miserable. And uh, hopefully that's enjoyable for you. <laughs> Um, we're at, I'm still in Temple 2. He has beaten Temple 2, but has no idea what to do next. He has not a clue in the world, and I think I do have a clue, but I'm not gonna, uh, you know, pull the clue until I'm there. Give myself a little, you know, this is a, it's a competitive, but it's a co-op-competitive stream, where, uh... There will be a winner. There are stakes to this. But we also both are trying to make our way through this game. And um, so far, I, I would say the first stream could be categorized as, um, at least for me, bitching. <laughs> I think all I did that first stream was bitch, bitch, bitch. Now, to, to be fair... Let's not forget the fact that Pelamoon started before I did. Uh, there was miscommunication there. So he's been ahead of me for a while because he literally started before me. I'm not saying that's an excuse. I'm just saying that's where the bitching began. Um, but in between, like, going to this town and not really knowing what I'm supposed to do with this town... Um... And, and kind of having a miserable time there to now being in this temple and just busting our balls in this temple. It has been a very hard game. And um, I'm going to supply this information to Pelamoon first thing. But um, from what I've been told, we're not even at the point where the game starts getting hard. Oh. So that's a little rough. That's not exciting. That's or not not that it's not exciting. That's not something I'm looking forward to. We'll see what happens. Um, I can't quit because I know Pelly won't quit, and I can't quit because the stakes are too high. Right now, we're looking at if I lose, I have to play Halo One Lazo. If he loses, I'm going to make him play Superman 64. And uh, I, I don't think either of us want to do either of those. So it's the stakes are high. The tensions are high. The uh, tilts are high. 
We'll see what happens. We'll see where things go tonight. Hey, maybe we'll beat it tonight. We're not going to beat it tonight. We'll see what happens. But anyways, we'll get into that in just a minute. This isn't going to be an hour-long intro because he's waiting on me, I believe. But I do want to say hello. How are you? I didn't stream yesterday because uh, on Sunday, I had to go into work first thing in the morning because the open guy at work forgot his key. And as I was leaving, I whoop, slipped on ice and landed on my back. And so my back still hurts pretty bad, but I can move. Whereas yesterday, man, I was walking around like fucking Frankenstein. It was bad yesterday. So I didn't really want to stream. And it honestly worked out because the game I was going to stream didn't come out. <laughs> still hasn't come out. Don't know what's going on there. And I got to watch some GDQ, and that was nice. And I got to watch some Mega64 uh, MLK Week stream. So it, it kind of worked out for the best that I didn't stream yesterday. And I'm back. You know, I'm, uh, unless something wacky at work happens, the rest of the week I should be here um, streaming every, every dang old day. But yeah, man. My uh, Sunday, my back was killing me after the fall. And then, honestly, yesterday was kind of worse because it was all, you know, stiff. And so I was just like, oh, please, God. I felt geriatric. Um, so it was rough, but other than that, I'm okay, man. I had a good Saturday. I had, a, I had mostly an, uh, an all right Sunday other than falling. But GDQ's going on, which is kind of, you know, got me in this, this racing mood. Uh... And GDQ's been pretty fun so far. What runs I've been able to catch. We'll, uh, maybe we'll talk about that later. See what Pelamoon's been watching. But, it's been, uh, it's been fun, man. It's been fun. Other than that, I, I don't have a ton of shit to talk to you about. I thought this was GDQ. No, no, this is GDN. Game's done nice. You got, again, wrong stream. This is a game, we're gonna, we're just gonna, first thing off the mat, you know, how do you, how do you win a war? Kill him with weapons? No, wrong. Kill him with kindness. So off the bat, I'm gonna be saying, you know, nice things to Pelamoon. Don't tell him my strategy. I'm gonna be saying nice things, you know, we gotta kill him with kindness, and then I'm gonna be kind to the game. There will be zero Malding tonight. There will be zero tilting tonight. There will be zero gallons of blood piss tonight. What's up, Chris? I'm going to be on my best behavior. I'm going to be a good little boy. And um, I just, I just won't mold. I just won't. Deal. Anyways, uh, before before I hop in there, um, two things. One, chat. How are you? How's everyone doing? Anyone? Uh, anyone? Uh, uh, anyone? Watch? Not GDQ. We're gonna talk about that later. So, uh, um, uh, anyone watch the Emmys? Any Emmy heads? <laughs> How are you all doing? Two. Things are, things are working. We got technical things working, and also I think something's fucked. I think 7TV is fucked right now, but I will tell you, Mr. Tony, he is working. There's six Tonys loaded in. I only did six Tonys until I could stress test this on stream, so there will be more Tonys added later. Get your Tony shirt suggestions in i'm telling you i'm cooking on them they look great um we got six tonys right now um i'm not gonna bore you with the details i'm not going to uh unless you want to hear them let me know if you want to hear them but i will tell you uh in case someone oh my god chris Thank you for the five I'm months. Tired to think of anything funny. Pee -pee -boo -boo. 
They should they should start calling you the f the funny little guy right there. You're the streamer now. You 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 play the game. You play Zelda too. I'm done. Good night. <laughs> Chris, thank you for the five months. I really appreciate it. Um, so the one thing with Tony, in case anyone is like, um, scam, I will tell you, you're reading this did get scammed because a file path was wrong, but that's been fixed. But in case anyone is like, why is it on a two minute cooldown? I listen, I'm not smart, but I'm, I'm crafty. Okay, I'm not smart, but I'm uh, I'm handy with it. That I I I, I, I talking about you. Know. Um, I don't know why it's like this, but for Tony to work, the source, the in OBS has to be shut down. It has to be refreshed for it to work. I don't know why. And so, what I've done is set it so it shuts down when not visible. That's an option in OBS. Easy fix. Easy thing that I figured out. And then I had to play with the time it took to shut down. So, Tony's on a two-minute timer because that gives the thing enough time to shut down so that when you redeem it, it'll work. Um, that's why it's like that. And I could go into more details if you want them, but I'm not going to bore you with them because I don't even understand half of them. It really was just trial and error, uh, handyman work, man. Um, I've never felt more like my dad, uh, trying to like fix a lawnmower than trying to get Tony to work because it worked on my laptop perfectly with one method. That method would not work on my PC. I had to figure out a whole different method. How do like watch a YouTube tutorial with 50 views about randomizing sound alerts and then just try and figure it out from there. Just work my own strat, but it's working. It is working. We've got six Tonys. More Tonys will be added as time goes on. The more shirts you submit, the more Tonys there will be. I can't guarantee every shirt you submit will show up. I've found... You know, because Tony has his arms crossed. If you're if you're submitting a shirt where the logo is on the chest or something funny is on the chest, chances are I, I will try, but chances are it will not end up getting used because it'll just be like, oh, he's wearing a, a white shirt. You know, like it's, uh, uh, oh, okay. His arms cover that up. But, um... I think, I think we'll learn as we go, but right now it is working, which is good. Sounds like sound alerts are working, normal alerts are working, chat's working. The only thing that I don't think is working right now is 7TV is acting up. And I'm on, I'm looking at 7TV right there. I'm not banned. So I don't know what's going on, so hopefully that'll fix itself, but... Tony. Damn, that's like the third time we've seen the rain jacket, right? Uh oh, what if it's busted on the rain jacket? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. But um There's uh there's some good ones in there. I was testing different types of clothes for Tony to try and see like what the funniest ones would be. I will tell you there's there's one in there. One that's loaded into the Tony set that is I had half a mind to give him a backwards hat, um, and because that he's wearing a drip that I would wear. So maybe we'll see that. Maybe you know, maybe we'll see that tonight. Maybe not. I I thought about limiting Tonys, but I don't think we've reached that point yet. I think maybe if there's like 200 Tonys, and you guys are spamming Tony, 20, you know, the whole stream. And, you know, maybe I'll go like, all right, guys, only five Tonys a stream or we're like one Tony per user. But right now, as long as you're within the channel, points, I also made Tony 50% off for right now because I know everyone's going to want to spam Tony and see the different drips. Um, but right now, as long as you got the channel points and abide by the two minute timer, we'll see some Tonys. So 
is basically a gotcha game with Tony. Now that's not a bad idea. Now that can be worked into a bit, and I... I'm writing that one down. I have to write that one down. There's a really fucking good idea in there. Anyways. Um, I think that's it, man. Before before I hop in, because I, I know that like when we do these multiplayer ones, it's not a ton of time. I don't have a ton. I don't get to talk to chat nearly as much as when I'm doing solo stuff. How's everyone doing? Have an awesome wife shirt, Tony, and a purple windbreaker, Tony. Okay, you've seen both of those. Hey, get your Tony sheets out. Get your Tony collection going. We're going to do Tony bingo later. Um, <laughs> screenshot the Tonys. Whoever can send me a complete collection of all six Tonys first will win a free epic redeem. <laughs> Anyways, uh, how's everyone doing? Kirby did say something about how he was doing, and I didn't see it. Let me scroll back up. Could be better. Inventory tomorrow. I have to be at work at 5.30. We'll be probably there for another 13 hours. Oh, my God. Kirby, just quit. Just, uh, just say no. That works. <laughs> that sucks, man. I'm sorry. Running on two hours of sleep for two days. How how are you alive? How are you uh <laughs> How are you not dead, Chris? <laughs> uh, I'm doing terrible, but I'm using this stream to distract me. Oh, you came to the wrong place, dude. I'm just gonna bring up all the things going wrong in your life. I'm gonna bring up um every problem that you've tried your hardest to fix and can't. We're gonna we're gonna walk through your life. Poggers! <laughs> I was invited to California by Anna's sister for a gift for a a Anna. See Oogie Boogie at Disneyland. Do that if I'm able. Here's what you need to do. I'm a little bit of a Disney... Uh, I'm a Disney park guy a little bit. This is something I don't talk on stream. And by a Disney park guy, I mean I've never been there. But for some reason I watch a lot of content creators about Disney parks. Figure that one out. Here's what you gotta do. Let me, can I hit you up with a Disneyland suggestion? The turkey leg. Don't. The big ass turkey leg. If you're like me, you're gonna go, you gotta get it. Don't. It sucks and it's like $35. Don't. Don't. There you go. Let's draw. This is your Disney tip. <laughs> Disney tip. Don't piss in the floor. Tip. Uh, if you're going to piss in the uh, in Mickey's Toontown, draw like uh, the Mickey head. And go hidden Mickey. And they'll let you do that. Uh, though, I think you should probably go to super maximum security prison if you whip your dick out at Disneyland. Just saying. That's cool, man. Uh, Disney is dope. Well, Disney is fucking expensive. And you gotta wait in line for six hours to ride um, Winnie the Pooh. So it kind of sucks. But there's cool things about it. Um, again, I say this as someone who hasn't been there. Can't go there. Uh, not for any real... Well, uh, poor is the reason. I, uh, I'm not made of money, but... Odd Watcher, storm the Twitch headquarters and pull the plug. Okay. <laughs> and if I can't go, the invitation means a lot. Yeah, for sure. Hey, if you can, go, you know? It's a it's a once in a lifetime experience. I say go. I would I would flip shit to go, you know? Just it's a lot of money. Even when you're there. 
it's a lot of money. But I'm also, uh, there was a period a couple years back where I was like, I really would like to go. Um, it was when Mega64 was still doing their game days meetup at Disneyland. And I was like, I'm going to go to that. And just like figuring out like cost of hotel, cost of food, cost of rides, you know, cost of this. It was like, oh, this is more money in one shot. More money than I've ever had before right like it, it was like you know four thousand dollars for flight and for trap you know for all of that and it was like i've never had that much money what we're we keep getting rain jacket tony this is i hope we get a different tony good tony though good tony another common rain jacket tony is common sad day But yeah, dude, I, I hope you get to go. Um, very least, I hope you get to go so you can see Oogie Boogie. I hope he comes out on stage and, and goes, uh, what does he say? I, it's been, I think, about 15 years since I saw Nightmare Before Christmas. I hope he goes, uh, oh, Santa Claus, let me put you in the ball stretcher. And then Santa Claus goes, oh my God, no, <laughs> don't, <laughs> I would hate that. How about a little sounding Santa Claus? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> Did I watch a different movie than everyone else? Maybe. It's been a long time since I've seen Nightmare Before that was, uh, I like that movie a lot. Nightmare Before Cummins. Oh. That's right. God, Blockbuster. I the Family Video fucked me on this. <laughs> okay, chat. I think I've left Pelamoon waiting long enough. I really am delaying. I'm really uh, 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 stalling because I don't want to play more Zelda 2. Not, it's not that I don't want to play it. It's that I don't want to play it. <laughs> let me uh, let me pop in. Is is Pelly, Pelly streaming right now, right? Can we get the check on that? Yes, Pelly is streaming. Check on that. Oh, that's me. But, hey... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> first of all, do you guys, you guys know I can read both of the chats, right? I can see that you're shit talking me in Pelamoon's chat. <laughs> Were you born yesterday? Come on. Were your parents video renters or bootleg buyers? My parents, uh, kind of neither. We definitely were video renters, but not much. My parents would buy VHS tapes, but like real, you know, like cheap, right? Like they, they would be like, they would wait for like Charlotte's Web to be $5 at Walmart and they would pick that up and then we would just have that. Um, my parents were way more, we watched movies on cable. I, I grew up glued to cable television. So I remember going to, the, I, this is the last story and then I got to get into Zelda too. Um, I remember going to my dad's friend's place for, they, we, we were going hunting and went to, uh, I guess not really a friend. It was more like a coworker. And I remember that they, we walked in and it was, there was like a grandma and then like two, like real young kids. I was like maybe 10. And these kids were like four or five. I don't know. And they were fucking bootlegging the Curious George movie. And I remember as a kid being like, 
Like I knew what they were doing and I was like, oh, no, Ooh, stealing a movie. Oh my goodness. I remember being ter- Oh my god, call the FBI, throw these fuckers in jail. Um, and now stealing movies is kind of um, all I do. I don't really pay for streaming services outside of Criterion. And um, I live good, man. And I live good. My dad knew this guy who had a balloon store that was in front of his bootleg movie business. He got arrested. Holy shit. We didn't, we didn't bootleg movies. We did bootleg floppy disks. We absolutely bootleg computer games. 100%. I remember that very vividly of having some burned CDRs. And uh, some floppies at one point. Different, different time, man. This is the last time you pirated music by burning a CD. Before Spotify. Before I was using Spotify, so like maybe like sophomore year of high school. Like a like a decade ago. It's been a long time. For me, it was 2020. Get him. That's Statue of Limitations. Get his ass. Stan that's the, st the Statue of Liberty. All right. Uh, we got to get into the stream. We got to get into this race. Pelamoon is, is just going. He's just cooking. He's just grinding. This is fucked up. Actually, I, th I think I told him to do this, actually. So, never mind. Never mind. Again, no tilting. No bitching. This is going to be a wholesome, positive Zelda 2 stream. I'm not even going to get a little tilted at a game that is considered so hard it's bad. Let's get in here. Minimize this. Can we get a to Hold on. Let me do a Tony check real quick. Let me pop a Tony off for myself. Let's see what I get tonight, guys. What's my Tony drop tonight? Let's see. Oh, we got first responder. Rare Tony. Rare Tony. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm glad to know that it isn't just, spa just spamming rain jacket Tony. Rare Tony Rig? Dude, this is literally like a kick gambling stream. Oh, guys, and if you use my referral code, you too could unlock a Rare Tony. Oh! All right, let me get in here. Let me talk to Pella Moon. For Dungeon 2. A whoa? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I only introed for 28 minutes. That's, uh, you know, world record. Shortest funny little guy intro. Shortest intro. Well, you got some catching up to do. <laughs> have you been, uh, I've been like uh, looking over at your stream. Have you been just grinding or what have you been doing? Uh, yeah. As okay. soon as I hit the, the 15 minute mark on stream, I said, you know what? That's <laughs> what, uh, that's when the timer starts. Okay. And that's when the timer started. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I told you to, if you wanted to, to grind. Um, yeah, I've just been grinding. I knew I would get caught up talking about something, and I ended up talking about bootlegging movies onto VHS. So, <laughs> you're all good. <laughs> I got caught up talking about a thing that hasn't been relevant in 30 years. So, all good. Have, um, you, uh, have, you, asked anyone on your, have you asked anyone on your stream about, about Popeye? About pop. Uh, yeah, that is what I had to do, dude. This game. We just, uh, we just, you just got in here. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm actually, I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> <laughs> this game is gonna be fucking miserable. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've been saying this whole time. Like, I'm not gonna get tilted tonight. I'm gonna be nice and calm. I was coming at this. The first thing I was gonna do was like compliment you. I was just gonna be nice and level headed. 
is the first stream I felt like I bitched too much. Um, but uh, apparently you're uh, you're already like ready to get tilted. So what's going on? What's up? So after beating um, after beating Link to the Past, I started mm -hmm. getting a feel for Zelda games. Right. And how uh, I was telling I was telling my chat that uh, you kind of have to. If something looks even just a hair out of place, you have to do everything you can to interact with it. You have to smack it and shove it and push mm -hmm. it and bomb it and mm -hmm. jump on it and then smack it three more times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do, are you uh, are you keeping the knowledge of what you need to smack secret? Um, that's your decision. I can I can give you some hints. I can give you okay. some real bull. <laughs> okay. So, so did you, this is what you were like stuck on last time, right? I don't know if I found the answer, but I have, I found several like side quest answers. Okay. And they are as like, I don't know. If I had not beaten <laughs> Link to the Past last time, I would never have thought to do this. <laughs> now, uh, here's the thing. This is I w I've been telling you like I have I have secret Zelda to knowledge not not like actual applicable to the game but I have learned some things about this game since we last streamed. Would you like to hear some of that? Yeah, I'll trade. I'll trade knowledge. Okay. Um people hate this game. Uh and and not <laughs> okay. th so I was like, okay, well this game's like good. It's just it's really hard. No, I went to backlogged um this game has like a two out of five on backlogged and it's all people like, you're not going to believe half the shit you need to do to finish this game. <laughs> we are, we aren't even at the point where people consider this game getting hard. Uh, we're in for like some ab like absurd levels of shit that I genuinely think <laughs> there there may come a point in this run where we might mutually forfeit. Um cuz there is some shit coming up that I don't know what it is, but the way people talk about it, it's like the game like murdered their entire family. <laughs> so <laughs> Do with that what you will. All right. I mean, it's an early Zelda game. I kind of already uh, expected that. Yeah. Um, it's a pre-Link to the Past Zelda game is what I is what I yeah. should enunciate on. Link to the Past was good. All right. Before your ch before your <laughs> chat gets up in arms, I enjoyed Link to the Past. All right. Oh, I just fucked up. Did you not? Did you mess up your save state? Yeah, I just I went to reload my save state and I just saved at the game over. Yeah, I did the same thing when we were uh, getting set up. <laughs> Not right. that big of an error, but I did make an error. Right. Okay, now I gotta make it all the way back to that temple. Um, I also, man, should have I should have watched my last stream or at least the end of it, because I I have no idea what I was doing in this temple. I know I got the glove, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do after that. Uh, you gotta go. I'm pretty sure you gotta go down. Okay. But I don't know which lift. I. Th I think you need to go like, from the entrance. I think you need to go, left, and then take a thing down. Okay. But there's I'm a couple different lifts that could apply to that. Right. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Right now, my big worry is just getting back to the temple. Because I remember... I don't remember what enemy it is, but I know one of these enemies is a fucker. Oh, yeah. The the fucking... Oh, uh, yeah. You'll see. Yeah. Oh, God, it's, uh... dude. I can't believe this fucking... I'm so fucking mad that this was the answer. <laughs> Well, at least you figured out the answer. I, I really thought that that was going to be the first, um, our first, like, needing to turn to chat for help moment. 
I'm so or, fucking upset. <laughs> or wait, you don't. Sorry, I think I I think I forgot. This isn't the main thing you figured out. This is a side quest thing, or is it the main thing? I now I'm not sure. So one okay. of them, I can tell you one thing. You know that. So there is something that you can do. There should be something that you can do right now in the water town. I think is actually just what it's called. I think it is just water town. <laughs> okay. There is a spell there, or an item rather, that you can get, should be accessible right now, that would make Dungeon 2 a lot easier. Fuck. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go to Water Town then. Yeah. It is in Water Town. It's in Water Town. It's pretty dumb how you find it. <laughs> so okay. good luck. Oh, fuck. I just. Don't. <laughs> So now and then the next the next yeah. part is just as bad. Right. <laughs> and and uh like I said, that we're not even at the part where this game gets obtuse and pisses people off. So <laughs> Do you um if I say uh, we are approaching Simon Quest Simon's Quest levels of stupid. Does that mean anything to you? Simon's Quest? Not really. Is that the Castlevania guy? Yeah, that's Castlevania 2. I think I told you a little bit about it, where, like, that game is just a fucking mess of, like, walk into this random corner, hold down on the D-pad for 10 seconds, and then things will happen. <laughs> and, like, nothing in the game tells you to do that. It's a, it's a mess. I, I don't know if this game ever gets that bad, but... It definitely gets close to being that bad, from what I've heard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm in Watertown. I need Exo. Huh? That what the hell? Some lady just turned into a bat. <laughs> Oh, did you not see that last time? No, I just talked to this lady twice and she turned into a bat. Yeah, yeah, they'll get you. Oh! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Man, he's dead. Uh, no, I'm not getting tilted. I'm not getting tilted. I'm just enjoying just a good little video game here. Dude, what the fuck is this? Oh, I'm at the maze now. It's a maze, right? Oh, yeah, yeah you're the Death Mountain <laughs> yeah. maze. Yep. Uh, that is the, so that's the one thing that I've heard is like, that's where people quit. <laughs> people stop playing at this point, so. If I need to. <laughs> Towards the end, when I was doing Ganon's, uh, Ganon's dungeon in Link to the Past, I had to, I had to open up Clip Studio and start drawing out, like, <laughs> the entire dungeon layout so I knew where I could and could not go. I think I saw that, yeah. Well, I... That's um, what I have to do here. <laughs> I can draw on my stream, so I might end up just, like, doodling the map on top of my stream. <laughs> Why do they turn into bats? Trying to figure out what could be out of place. Oh, wait, he's talking now. Let me be master is in woods north of river. I feel like this is going to turn into when I played Elden Ring, I had to keep a journal of just like random shit so I'd remember it. I feel like that's going to turn into this. I'm going to have to start writing shit down. Oh, sex with the grandma. Huh? 
Oh, no, all she did was refill my magic. God damn it. <laughs> Chat saying that uh, when they played Majora's Mask, they had an actual, uh, like, notebook as a kid. I... <sighs> I feel like that's a really, like, cozy experience to, like, think back on. But in 2024, the idea of keeping a notebook just pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fortnite gamer in my brain it doesn't want to see that. Yeah, I'm okay with uh, the quality of life of, of games kind of, like, doing that for you now. Mm. Or giving you some way some method in game to like track that stuff yeah yeah like i don't need um like super lengthy like quest recaps but just a little something to let me know that like the information is actually pertinent but i don't need quest markers on the map but just a little thing to let me know. Like, that was my thing with Elden Ring, is, like, I um, liked that game a lot, but a lot of times I would do a side quest, and I'd be like, did I, did I win? Did I lose? Like, with a game like that where the NPCs can just be brutally murdered, I had no idea whether I was succeeding or failing. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Still haven't beat that game. I'll get around to it. Okay, thank you, chat. I did reload chat, the chat overlay, so it might be working now. I've been having a lot of little weird tech problems where, like, 7TV just straight up isn't working for... Like me and I, and I think Chris, it isn't working for, and my chat on stream, like my chat overlay wasn't working. So <laughs> who knows? The it's the uh, I know what it is. The uh, hitmen you hired. I did um, do that. He admits it. You heard it. Flip that. Do you think you will come out of this uh, appreciating the good Zelda games more or just being completely pissed off at Zelda? <laughs> I'm just going to be angry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be angry. It's going to reaffirm my beliefs that Zelda 1 and 2 are just not... They didn't age well. Did you, uh, did you watch the Zelda 1 run today on GDQ? I didn't. I set my alarm properly, and I woke up on time, but I forgot why. <laughs> then I went back to bed. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was good, man. It was, uh... It was a lot of, like, yeah, if you stand at the edge of the screen and then bomb yourself and then move, you'll warp to the other side of the screen... So they were just like full on skipping like huge chunks of dungeons by just bomb exploit. It was very cool. Hmm. Chat's asking how many hitmen did I hire? How many did you see? Uh, You know what? I didn't see them, but I felt them. You felt them? Yeah. It wasn't what I saw. It's their presence. It's the, it's the fact that things are cutting out. Hmm. I like that you didn't straight answer that. It became, well, how many did you see? And we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs> very, 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 very. Am I going to waste this whole stream trying to figure out what the little side quest thing is? I, 
I feel like I, I'm not even gonna finish Temple 2 this stream. <laughs> if you get the thing, mm. I think there's a very good chance it's gonna... Tr I don't... It's not gonna trivialize it. But okay. it's gonna make it, like, manageable. <laughs> Did it the thing that I've been complaining about. Among other things. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, we've been complaining about a lot of stuff. I can't really pinpoint one thing. Um, does it have anything to do with the little purple slime man who said my master is in the forest? No, that's a different side quest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or maybe that's, I think actually, I think that is like the next thing. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I take like a week or two break from a game and I pick it up on stream again, it's like, man, it's good to be back. It is not good to be back to Zelda 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to Watertown because I clearly missed whatever. Oh, yeah, I guess I do have the big jump now. I could try, like, put on top of some houses. Much to consider. Yeah, knowing this game, I could see them have you super jumping down someone's, like, chimney that's placed <laughs> off-screen, and yeah. you just have to know it's there. What's that? I found a mirror. Oh. Okay, just found a mirror. Is that the thing? Uh, maybe. Has Nintendo ever explained why they made this game such an asshole? Um, my theory is just uh, Miyamoto hates us. Um, that's my theory. Tip line? Yeah, you gotta get Nintendo Power. All the tip line. They were milking us for everything we had. Yo, know, just a wizard hiding. Like, what is it? You go into a lady's house, and then she's got a secret cavern with a wizard in it. What's the, uh, deal there? 
Hmm. Is it the wizard's house? Does she know that the wizard's there? A lot of questions. Probably not a lot of answers. Kink dungeon? <laughs> oh, okay. That's why he's got the life magic. Heals you up after a particularly uh, intense BDSM sesh. Okay. All right, I got the life magic. I'm going to assume that's what you're talking about, and you're right. Uh, that, yes. is, that is very helpful. Dude, this game's not too bad. I just want to know what this little slime guy was talking about. Yeah, my master's in the forest north of the river. Okay, there's a lot of forests north of the river, man. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> No, I said I was not going to piss blood tonight. I'm not smiling. I'm just a smiler tonight. Yeah. Love playing a video game with my good friend. I have nothing to be tilted about. I have nothing to be tilted about. Zelda 2 Link at Fortnite when? That rule. I would love more Nintendo characters. Or any Nintendo characters in Fortnite. Who, Kelly, who's your number one Nintendo character you want to see in Fortnite? Go ahead. Rosalina. You know what? Somehow I knew you were going to choose that. <laughs> Is that right? Is she's the she's the galaxy one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any any reason why? Um I think she'd combo really well with so like her she little star thing, right? That's her companion. Yeah. Yep. I think that'd be a good uh the parachute item. When you're like dropping in, I think it'd make a good oh, like a glider. Piece. Yeah, I think yeah. it'd be a good glider. Okay, I could see that. Um, my pick would be uh, Kickle Cubicle. That's my choice. Who? I want I want him in Fortnite. You just he who kickle cubicle? Uh, yes. Uh, get this guy out of the race. <laughs> Which, uh, invalidate this guy's whole run. Thank you. Chat, you know who kickle cubicle is, right? Who? Mods. Get him. This is a pro kickle stream. Oh, fuck. I just died. Why did I do that? I was spending all this time looking for the little master in the woods. Instead of going and doing the temple. Oh, okay.
my actual answer is King K. Rool. But that's because that's my answer to basically every question. That's understandable. What do I have to do to convince you to run Donkey Kong 60? Or play Donkey Kong? Um. I mean, you'd like sponsor it. What does that mean? It means uh, you'd like pay me to play it. Well, wow, then. All right, chat. Go ahead, guys. It is a new month. Make sure to get your Prime Gaming subs in. And then I'll use that money to get a DK64 run funded. Yeah, that way, we, you know. Pass the buck along, you know. They win like, the race. I don't want him to win the race, though. <laughs> I don't want him to win the race. Oh no! If I win the race, you're playing Superman 64, and I'm I'm restreaming that. Oh, okay. Life magic takes a lot of your magic bar. Uh, it does. Yeah, it does. Noted. It should never need convincing to play Donkey Kong. Normally, I'd agree, but this is Donkey Kong 64 we're talking about. A Donkey Kong game I can't even really defend. Every time I cope myself into thinking like, well, maybe Donkey Kong 64 is good. Um... That lasts about 30 seconds. <laughs> Did you choose a game for Mike to play yet? Um, I joked about picking Halo Lazo, but after talking uh, over it, I think, like, Mike made some good points. I think maybe ha Halo Vidmasters, I think, would be fun. What is that? Which is like a step down from... They're like... So the Vidmasters were challenges that Bungie did back in the day. And that's mm. how you originally got the recon helmet. Oh. Um, they are... They're still hard. They're nowhere near as hard as Lazo. And I think okay. they actually would be like... Like actually fun. Okay. That, yeah, that I can definitely live with. My only thing with Lazo is that I didn't want to have, like, Halo 1 ruined for, because I haven't played it yet. Um, and also because it's a sub goal on my channel. And I want to uh, exploit as much money as I can. So. Well, are, are you going, like... Are you going? Uh, are you only going to do Halo One? So it's um, every sub goal is a different. Every sub goal I have basically unlocks a full playthrough of a Halo game, and then like uh, attempts at Lazo after fully playing it. So like, and are you doing I it in? Is this release order? Yes. Release order. All right. It'll be a while before we get to Reach. Yeah, but even then, if I can make a multiplayer and you'd be interested, then I'd be absolutely down to do them the Lazo's multiplayer because I think that would be probably more fun than watching me who can uh, barely play a first-person shooter trying to do the hardest possible shit by myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be... The four-player ones are de would definitely be more fun. Mm. Halo 1 and 2... I'll just have to try hard. 
I'll have to actually try hard at those ones. I really hope that spell saves when I game. I forgot to see. <laughs> probably does. It probably does, right, Chant? Probably does. Kirby's also down. Yeah, Maybe we could do like. We could do like handoffs. Once I get sick of Lazo, I can hand it off to Kirby. He'll right. carry you through Halo 1. Halo 2, that's all you, Kirby. <laughs> that's all you, brother. <laughs> Well, so I don't think I'm going to do a full playthrough of Lazo. I assumed I'd probably do like one or two streams of Lazo each. The real reward is the full playthroughs of those games. Um, because I've never I've never played a Halo campaign. Um, dumped a good gillion hours into Halo Reach multiplayer, but never really played the campaign and same with all the other Halos. That's Once the real the, reward. Yeah. The, the four-player Halos, we could absolutely lasso. In one in two streams, we could do a chat. Think so? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> With Kirby and I, maybe. Right. But keep in mind, if it was just Kirby and you, maybe... But you're carrying dead weight with you the whole time. <laughs> Unless you guys inted. I what's, think there's a chance. What's inting? Inting? Uh, intentionally yeah. feeding. So if you throw yourselves into the enemy before we can, like, do anything. Yeah. There's a chance. Yeah, I thought inting meant, like, intelligence buff. And I'm, hey, I'm always inting. <laughs> As my man, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Um, okay. sub goal to get a Halo Pro as the fourth player. Okay, who's a Halo Pro I should reach out to? We're gonna get Steve Downs. Isn't that Master Chief? Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. We're gonna get yeah, him. Be, be cool. I would actually like fangirl that entire stream. Um, not because of him doing Master Chief. He used to host on Saturdays or Sundays, I think. He had a syndicated radio show. Uh, called I think it was Flashback. Yeah, it was something like that. And um, I used to listen to that all the time as a kid. And then I found out he was the found out he was Master Chief, and I'm like, ah, uh, no, he's the flashback guy. <laughs> I gotta figure out what my. Now I feel like I'm really gonna fuck this. Up. You know what? I'm going to manually save state. Just so I can't fuck it up too. Yeah, there we go. Um, chat saying we should get Ninja to do be the fourth for Lazo. Down for that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sure. What is there a problem with Ninja? No, is there? Please. Is there? I don't... You're the <laughs> one there? who doesn't sound confident about it. What what bad things has Ninja done? Name one. Uh, he's better at me than Halo. Oh, okay, fair. Uh, the tweet about his wife bringing him a sandwich was pretty bad. Oh, you're just saying that because you're jealous that you don't have a braless wife who brings you a sandwich not asked for. Yeah, I think chat's projecting a little bit on that one. Yep. Sad.
You think it's, uh, is it okay to be naked in your own house? <laughs> Zelda 2, everybody! <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> there's some factors. There's some fa Are you alone? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're alone. Oh, um, are you, are, is your ass washed? Um, no, no, let's say no. Uh, not okay to be naked. Not okay to be naked. Ooh. You gotta be, you gotta be alone and you gotta be like, comp you gotta be clean. Hygienic. All right. It's the hygiene. I mean, is that, is that bad? Should, am I, am I being a stickler on this? No, I'm not. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. Okay. You threw that option out there at me, and I wanted to see where uh, where you'd take it. Even then, man, I'll be I'll be like fresh out of the shower sometime, and I'll still be like, no, nah, I got to put some clothes on. Guess that's where. That's where you and I personally differ. Back in the day, I'd get out of the shower, I'd dry my hair for 40 minutes, I'd hop in the call with a towel around my waist and proclaim to everyone, guys, I'm sitting here, I've been sitting here in the towel, towel for the past uh, two hours. Yeah. And I'm not ready, baby. <laughs> I'm not ready to go just yet. <laughs> uh, I, I mean... So I've tried like sleeping naked and I can't do that, man. Um I can't I can't be like naked for long periods like that. I start I start getting worried that like like I'm like a like a home intruder is going to come in, like eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's a fear. <laughs> Can't sleep naked because I'm afraid like monsters gonna come out of under my bed, and eat my ass. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> I tried sleeping naked once. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't my thing. Yeah, it's not. It's not terrible. Um, I I've tried it like maybe three or so times. When I got this apartment that I'm in, where I have like my own private bathroom, I would like get showered at night, and I'd be like, yeah, let's give this a shot. It wasn't bad, but I would, like, I would wake up and, you know, I'd be full-ass naked, but I would feel, like, extra naked, waking up naked. I was just like, this, uh, this isn't right. I need, uh, I need at least boxers on. Now I go, I go to sleep, like, full clothed, uh, like, wearing a robe. I got a little sleep cap. I, I got eye mask. Um... I'm more dressed to sleep than I am to, like, for normal day shit. <laughs> uh, Crunch and Chat is saying that he goes Dolly Parton mode. Um, have you, do you know what Dolly Parton does before bed? No. Uh, she gets fully dressed and, uh, keep, uh, puts her makeup on so that if there's like a fire or something, she can run out of the house looking good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what rules about Dolly Parton is I'm like 90% sure that's a joke, but there's 10% of it where it's like... But she probably does actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound very healthy for your skin. Uh, well, you moisturize. You just put more makeup on. You cover up the blemishes. That's fair. Fair enough. You ever worn makeup before? Uh... Yeah, one time, one time I had someone put it on me 
because they wanted to. Should I should I inquire further or? I mean, it's just my girlfriend at the time. She was like, "Hey, okay. you want to try makeup?" Yeah, sure. I try it. it. I've put um, I mean, not like doll you up makeup, but I've put I've put makeup on you. We were filming. I don't even know what video it was, but there you had to look like beaten up. I did makeup on you. I remember that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're a makeup artist. <laughs> yeah, some would say. Some would say. Um, I've driven a tractor once. Some would say I'm a farmer. <laughs> oh, brings back good memories. Going up to my grandparents, they let me drive the the Gator. Uh, Four by four. Mm. Those are good, good times. I, uh, when I was like, I, when, when I turned like 13, that was like a rite of passage. Passage was, I got to drive the tractor at my grandma's house and mow the lawn. And, um, I think I did it about twice because the first time it went great. And then the second time I um, fucked up and ran over her like little fence around her flower bed and like took a huge <laughs> chunk off of her flowers. Um, and then we stopped to have lunch and my dad was like, looked at me. He's like, so you're going to tell her what you did. And I had to look my grandma in the eyes and tell her that like I destroyed part of her flower bed and she didn't seem to really care, but it was just, that was like too much. Uh, I, I, I could not take responsibility for that level again. Like, that was too much <laughs> for me. <laughs> Chat's saying sub goal to set Dolly Parton's house on fire. <laughs> Guys, we're not doing that. <laughs> you got to give me a lot of subs for that one. I don't been oh shit didn't you you said like right when you get in there you go left and then you go down something like that I think so because I'm I'm going fully down and then right and I know I've been here before so I, I don't think it's this but let me try that if I can get out of dungeon 2 before 8 p.m. my time I will consider this a victory I will consider a dub. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the skeletons. Shit. It's all, uh, it's all starting to come back to me. <laughs> all the shit that tilted me. So have you um have you watched any GDQ stuff yet this year? Uh I've popped in, but not really. Okay. I've been watching a lot. Crunch, thank you very much for the follow. Howdy. Oh my like god. Viewers. What the hell? Guys, no no no, come back. Come back. You gotta stay on my stream, guys. Sorry, I, I opened the gate and let him roam. That was my bad. That's okay. Yeah, you can hang out here. No, mods. We got shark callers on these guys, right? Hit the button. <laughs> you got to hit the button. They're going to start thinking that they can go anywhere. Uh, anyways, yeah, I've been I've been watching a lot of GDQ for AGDQ, and it's been really good. Um, I, I watched Sonic Adventure 2 last night, which was dope, and Silent Hill 2, which was also dope. 
But honestly, my favorite run so far was um, earlier today. They had a dog speed run, and it was great. <laughs> this guy taught his dog how to play Gyromite on the NES, and the dog speed ran the game. And it was uh, really beautiful. Like, this is where we're at as a society. This rules. Huh. Uh, I might have to check that out, because that sounds very fun. Yeah, it was great. Definitely think I've been this way. The thing that is nice about Temple 2 is you don't have to go... Like, when you go down those elevators, you don't have to go right that often. You can kind of just write off the right. Hmm. Or not. Or I'm wrong. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Never mind. <laughs> Literally went down one floor when I finished that sentence and now have to go right. So never mind. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, the life spell, that's pretty nice. Exploit those iframes! Hey, okay. not looking good, and I'm dead. <laughs> for save stating again oh dude like i think it's you could save for 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 dungeon 2 we were save stating at the entrance and then at the boss i don't yeah. care if you save state like every few rooms or like every few like areas okay i'm fine with that Maybe our, our general rule should be like uh, on our system. You know, don't. You can use it as much as you want, but like maybe don't. Sp like save state each time you get a hit in on an enemy or something. You know, don't ex uh, abuse it to that level. Yeah. But I'm fine with that. I think towards the end of the last time, I was so fucking tilted and tired. I'm pretty sure I was safe stating like every room. Um, <laughs> I don't remember doing it, but I remember looking over in chat and Kirby was like all caps, like safe states. He's using safe states. And I remember <laughs> being like, uh, am I? I don't even know anymore. I was so delirious by the end of the last stream. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Chris. <laughs> Sorry, Kirby. I didn't. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, mods ban Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll see you, Chris. Have a good one. Get some rest. Yeah, try to get more than than one hour of sleep tonight. Oh boy, but I can't touch these enemies. Oh, I actually can. Oh, 
Okay, I should not be here. <laughs> That's just how I feel about this game in general. <laughs> <laughs> door that's good i like that i i just use jump instead of heat god damn it son of oh. <laughs> just reload just reload my save because i know all that's at the end of this hallway is a door i don't have a key fuck it yeah i i you know for all this game's faults i will say one of its like most glaring is that magic menu. Little bit wonky to use. But what are you gonna do? The NES had had four buttons and a D. See, every time I bring up the four buttons and a D-pad argument, uh, I get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you bringing it up to? Uh, you. Ah, uh, nah, check the tapes. I don't think that's right. <laughs> what was I? Well, what was your complaint? Hold on. I say, you know, there's only so much you can do with four buttons and a D-pad. And you say, you look, you push up your glasses and you say, <laughs> well, <Hell> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. no, erm, <laughs> erm, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's it. I just say no. I don't elaborate. <laughs> um, you you get really, you get really angry, and you like, you say mean things at me. You like throw I, things at me. This is not true. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone from portraying me uh, as like a uh, like an um actually guy on the internet to like actual fucking abusive like psycho. <laughs> You know what, chat, my chat has a point. Uh, they say it's better than the Atari 2600. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, my house being burned down is better than me being burned down. Like, yeah, but... <laughs> Been, Fuck, I, I need to like be making movie. notes. I, I forgot. I feel like I'm going in circles. I am. I don't know if I'm going to make it out of this temple, man. <laughs> I don't know where I am. See, so your mind is still on burning houses down? Burning houses down. Well, okay, hold on. Burning... Using a burning house as a metaphor is something I've done for years and it's like a terrible detriment to my debating abilities. Cause people, people will be like, yeah, you know, peanut butter and jelly, you know, crust on pretty good crust off. Great. And I'll be like, yeah. And my house being on fire, small fire, good, big fire. Great. Like I'll say shit like that. And people are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I use um, houses burning down as a metaphor all the fucking time, and yeah, it's a uh, does not help me win argument. Mike, do you know how to make text wrap in OBS? Wrap around. Um, find out. I 
I th think you could. Are you talking about like it moves and wraps around? I just want it to. Maybe do I have to make it larger? No, that's not what I want. I just want it to like go to the next line when it reaches uh the end. But maybe I have oh, to shrink no. it. No, you just gotta. I I just manually do it. I just manually format. If there is a way, I don't know it. It's all right. We have a while before Mike catches up to us. I'll figure yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah, you got <laughs> you got time, man. I think you've got yourself about um two more full ass streams before I catch up. So. Scroll? I don't think scroll is what I'm looking for. No, scroll will make it move. Usual stuff. Health sucks. Gotcha. Yeah, especially now. We are definitely in the brunt of the uh, the cold season. I had to shovel snow earlier, and that was not fun. It sucks, but I'll tell you, it 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 makes. I like uh, my job at times like this when it is there's uh, not a lot of customers. So like I spent all of today playing the new Final Fantasy fourteen pad, and and getting paid for it. So if they could just keep that weather machine churning out snow, I'm I'm down with it. What's um would you be more uh what am I trying to think? Would you be more disapproving of a person if they believed climate change wasn't real? Or if they believed that weather machines existed? Um. Probably the former. Yeah. At yeah. least, like, weather machines are still, like, whimsical, right? That'd be cool. Yeah. Now that it's winter, I've been seeing uh, a lot of uh, both types of people. And usually they're the same type of person. <laughs> <laughs> Think the fairies in this game have any figgy pudding? Okay. I'm sorry. This this probably is not going to make sense to your chat, Belly, but um, Crunch, what the hell was that clip? Uh, Crunch posted some clip in my Discord that was, like, a, a person, like, pretending to be Lord Farquaad from Shrek. And then there was, like, uh, uh, someone pretending to be, like, a fairy. And they were, like, talking about bringing the figgy pudding. Um, and it was, it was baffling. And it, like, left me shell-shocked. <laughs> <laughs> close custom text extents all right hang on we made we're making progress we're okay. making progress chat you want to come to Pennsylvania and just take all the snow with you? I'd be fine with that. Why is it such low resolution? <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> What's that, your text? 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, try like if you could increase your font size. Then it just makes everything really big, and I don't know how to shrink it. Mm. <laughs> Dude, OBS. Uh, some of it is uh, questionable. <laughs> It is very much a, a thing you gotta slap some plugins into and dick around with sometimes. <laughs> Where the hell am I supposed to go? I'm so lost. I need one key and I don't. I can't remember where I've been <laughs> any the moment I move to a different room, I forget the whole layout of the temple. <laughs> this is like severe grandpa gaming moment. Theoretically, one could manipulate the weather. It would be a series of massive, massive machines. Yeah, I think that'd be cool as hell. Uh, we don't have that kind of capabilities yet, I don't think. Not super well, but yeah, absolutely. We can have that discussion. Uh, next time I do a solo stream, if I do that tomorrow, we can get into that. I think that'd be fun. Backseating? No, preferably not. Keep, uh, yeah, keep backseating spoilers to a minimum. Mike and I are going into this completely blind and we want to experience all of the uh the pain and suffering well the fun <laughs> yeah you know some people have other words for it yeah <laughs> oh this is so it's so hard for me because i've gotten so used to going like chat Chat, have I been here? Chat, do I go here? Is this where I need to go, chat? I've become so reliant on chat that to go back to my gamer instincts is uh, really, really showing me that they've weakened. <laughs> Simply no longer the gamer I used to be. Bad day. Like, even now, I'm 95% sure I've already gone this way, but I'm continuing to go this way. <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna draw on my screen. I gotta... <laughs> I'm drawing a map. I'm drawing a rough map. Okay. All right, chat, follow, follow along with me on this. So the the temple is kind of like this and like this, right? And right now we're like here. The hallway here. And then there's there's a there's there's this here leads nowhere. But then this and then there's like this this is the place with the key. But I need to go second right or second left, maybe. Second left. Take your word for it. Thank you. <laughs> this, not that. Second left. What's here? Didn't I just come from here? Yeah, where did this is okay? Okay, we gotta go to the left. We gotta go to the left. All 
I feel really bad because my first, the first stream we did of this, my VOD for it is like one of the most VOD, watched VODs I've ever done. And I know for a fact, anyone who watched that first VOD is not watching that, is not going to see this one. They're going to watch <laughs> part one and be like, Jesus Christ. You know what? Fuck them. Have you ever, did you ever play a game as a kid and like beat it and then you've gone back to it later as an adult and you like cannot at all? Um. Um. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. I don't think mm. my gamer skills have waned that much, but I also have never really revisited anything from my past. Okay. Don't worry, Chad. I've come up with a better option here. Maybe. It's not showing up, though. Don't worry, chat. Get in the fix. I feel like I'm a better gamer than I've ever been. See, I feel the opposite. I feel like I was a better gamer as a kid. Or at least as a teen. Or now, like, my reaction time. So, Sean... And I know why, and I'm not going to elaborate why, but I know why. <laughs> uh -uh. <coughs> it's the dementia. You got me. You ever look at like <laughs> you know what I don't know if I should I don't know if I should do this this is a joke for like my chat I don't know if I should do this joke while while uh Pelly's chat is on the horn maybe I hold that one back never mind I'm sure they'll be fine all right <laughs> Pelly's chat uh you can't cancel me after I say this um, you ever look at like a uh, like a CRT scan, no nope. CTE scan, of like a dementia patient's brain, and you see all the holes, and you go like, mmm, Swiss cheese. <laughs> see, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> get ready. You're gonna get like six paragraph rant in your chat like uh, uh dearest Pelly moon please do not associate with funny little guy any longer <laughs> and you know what i don't disagree with them <laughs> hang on i'm gonna mute and read some of these chat comments here. Okay. They're getting real rowdy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, really? <gasps> no. No. Oh. <laughs> I just I want to read them out so they feel heard. Yeah. If you want to if you wanna deafen and whatever, like, that's totally cool. I'm, I'm probably going to keep talking. Hey, chat, did he deafen? Okay. 
So, um, what I've done, chat, is I actually, I watched a full play. I watched, I watched, uh, I, I read the whole Nintendo Power issue walkthrough of this game. Where once I get out of Temple 2, we're gonna, this, this isn't gonna be a race. It's gonna be a massacre. You know, here's how I know. If you, if any of you guys go over in there and, and tell them I said that, I caught you in a rat trap. Because any real funny little guy viewer knows I can't read. You just got fucking rat trapped. This is not where the key is, is it? God. Okay. Don't go that way. We have to find another way. No. I, I'm, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm very lost in this temple. I don't know. Where the key is. Uh -uh. This, this is the way to the locked door. Okay. Don't. Gotta draw. Gotta draw. I'm gonna draw out a map. Okay. All right. So we've got. I'm gonna draw it down here. <laughs> We've got one, two. This is where the key is, okay? Then we've got this over here. Don't go this way. Then we've got the thing that connects us. Then we've got down here. Don't go this way. Bad. Then there's this here. Right? This is gonna by the end of of this race my screen is gonna look like a crazy man in like a jail cell drew all over it. <laughs> <laughs> there i just spent 20 minutes trying to get text on the screen formatted the way i want <laughs> and we got there yeah. yeah yeah that's what it's about baby okay we don't want to go here Okay, and then this is the bridge that connects us. So I'm, go I'm good on this. This side of the thing is drawn correctly. Loser of this race has to play Zelda's Adventure. Which oh. one is Zelda's Adventure? That is uh, maybe the worst of the CDI games. Oh, is that the first one? No. So no, there's, okay. there's two... Zelda games, there's two CDI Zelda games that are like this. And they're, uh, is it Zelda Wands of Gamelon and then Link in the Faces of Evil? Or it's flipped. It's Link and Gamelon, but I think I had it right. There's a third one that's a top down. It's like a classic Zelda called Zelda's Adventure. And that game is like unplayably bad. The loading is terrible. Every screen. So imagine you're playing Z Link to the Past and you go up a screen and you got to wait like 15 seconds for the screen to load. Um, It's like that. It's horrible. Does, I'd be down for that. But does yeah. emulation fix that? Can I like it? Can I like just speed it up? Um, Based on my experiences with CDI emulators, probably not. Oh. Um, Every time I've tried to use a CDI emulator, it has crashed live on stream. So, so maybe, but I think you got to get the CDI emulator work. I would be down though to do those CDI games. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah. Why, Why do I keep do committing to trash? I'm just doing this to myself. I would be down for that, though. I have a lot of uh, insight into those games. I grew up uh, not loving them, but loving the animation because I grew up. You ever watch a YouTube poop? Uh, yeah. Okay. Those were, uh, those are the, the poop games. So I, yeah, I grew uh, up. What's his name? That guy, the name's, his name starts with M. Mario? No, like, the, I don't know. He's the big guy. He does the funny rap. Morshu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that yeah. Guy. Yeah, what, uh, all I remember was bombs. Uh, um, you ever, you ever listen to Morshu reads the entire Bible? No, but I did hear about that. Okay. See, I'm not even a big Morshu guy. Morshu's like the meme that's persisted into the modern day. I'm way more, I love the king. Um, I love his like. Uh, I wonder what's for dinner. Uh, I love that shit, and I love the the wizard man who sh who like takes Link on an adventure and is like Squadilla and flies off. Uh, yeah, we're I think we're gonna <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna do the CDI games. Fuck it, you and I together, CDI nightmare. And we're not I playing. Did, I did promise. I promised. What the. F uh, okay, I don't understand how the jump height works. Okay, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I told chat, I, it was actually, it was going to be between, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was between Link to the, I, I think it was between the next ones. It was either going to be Link's Adventure or the CDI, but Link's Adventure came out like a, like a month or two beforehand. You mean Link's Awakening? Link's Awakening, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, you should definitely play Link's Awakening. That's a great game. Um, but the the CDI games, I think we should do those together. I think that would be very fun to do. Um, you know, like you could do you could do the Link one, and I could do the Zelda one, and we'll just <gasps> go stream it. Yes! Oh! oh, you got Sorry, the download stand. We got a really important upgrade. <laughs> I need to get out of this fucking temple. Where is the key? I don't, I have drawn a map and I still can't find the key. I've, I've lost it. I've lost my mind. <laughs> Can I buy a tip? Can I buy a tip on where the key was? I'm trying to remember if I remember where the key was. Is the key not like all the way to the left? No, that's where you pick up the hand. Yeah. That's my problem is I keep going back there. Um, yeah, you can ask where the key is because there's probably multiple keys and I don't know if Chad is even going to know. Chad, where's the key? Chad, where's the key? He's out. He's lapping me right now, chat. Where is the key? Please. Someone look it up for me, please. Or or someone in Pelly's chat. Tell him. It's probably in the dungeon. Mods! So chat, as you can see, we've actually made uh we've made some pretty good progress, kind of. We made progress. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go here. How do we know where the hell could it be? Is this Mod Modoro Palace, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> I don't know where my keys are. Would help, but I'm still mad at you for dissing B T T T or sorry B T T F. What is that? What did you uh? 
What controversy did you get embroiled in this time? <laughs> I don't know. B- <laughs> BTTF makes me think of Back to the Future, but I don't know if that's... <laughs> Listen, okay, I gotta make a public apology to Pelamoon's chat. Whatever I said <laughs> last time, <laughs> I didn't mean... I was, like, blacked out tilted for half of that stream. I don't remember the back half. I'm sorry. It, is that directed at Mike or me? Did I say something about BTTT BT BTT BTTTF? BTTF. I mean, that's Back to the Future. Shitting on Back to the Future? I don't. Did we talk about Back to the Future last <laughs> I time? don't remember talking about Back to the Future. That would have been a fun topic. You ever seen the Back to the Future trilogy? Oh, don't, don't, me, don't do that. Not about Back to the Future. Mm, I might have seen like bits and pieces of it. He's saying you Just did fun. apparently insult it. Did I? I don't know what I don't know what you said. I don't know what you said, but Chad. Those are like some of my favorite movies. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I this is I can't play hard games anymore because I get I get so tilted I get blackout and then I insult some of the greatest movies of all time. This is fucked up. This is I have a problem. <laughs> I'm ever on trial. I'm telling the judge I was just playing Zelda too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really need to find this key, chat. Um, room with falling blocks. Grab the point bag. Go down the elevator. Wait, do I go through the room with the falling blocks? And then there's another elevator? Because that would make sense. I don't think I've gone through that room yet today. This isn't even a race anymore, is it? <laughs> I don't know if it's been a race from the start. <laughs> it's a race in the loosest of terms. That's why yeah. in my title I used I put race in uh in quotations. Right. Okay, hey, I um I'll tell you straight up, I know how to beat the last boss. So it could all come down to that. I guess we'll see. I learned that that lore years ago when I was just a young farm boy. Room with falling blocks. No, this is the bridge across. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm losing my mind now. Now the tilting has begun. <laughs> Right, okay, this takes us back here. I swear. No. Right, this is the easy slime room. Can I tell him how to beat the last boss out of spite? No, that's okay. That's okay. No. We'll fi we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We got there. We got there with Ganon 1. We got there with Ganon 3. We'll figure out Ganon 2.
Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Sorry, I misread it. My bad. Did I, j I just fucked up again. I just saved over. God damn son of a bitch. I just saved a game over again. I just save stated a game over <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, you can undo that. Wait, wait, wait. You can undo that in RetroArch. Open up your oh. menu. Open up your menu and go to save states and there's an undo, undo save state button. Uh, how do I open up the retro arc menu? Uh, F1 by default. Undo green? save state. Uh, cause I changed it in the settings. Oh, okay. Undo yeah, save I don't state. know how that, I don't know how that option works. I haven't tested it, but see if that. Oh does my God. Oh my God. Lifesaver. There we go. I really want Mike to get out of Dungeon 2 today. <laughs> I really want to get out of Dungeon 2 as well. <laughs> I hate it here. I don't know where to find the last key. I'm, uh, chat, I'm accepting backseating on the location of the final key. All of you who have been holding in that backseating, you're ready to burst. Go ahead. Let me know where is the key I'm looking for. The last key. Well, maybe. A, A key. Sent you with the walkthrough set? Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> if it's longer than two sentences, I can't read. <laughs> you really want to know? I really want to know. Kirby, I appreciate you sending me that, though. I just can't. I can't process that. It's like trying to tell a burn victim how to apl apply like uh, anti-burn ointment. Like I, I can't, I can't do that right now. <laughs> I'm in a panic state right now. I can't read a, a novel. Hey, so the thing is, IDK mods. <laughs> Mod <laughs> it's over there, mods. Please, <laughs> can we please get these people who are putting jokes funnier than mine out of this chant? Okay, everyone, empty chat time. <laughs> Streamer wants to be by himself. <laughs> no, I just I just need to know where this key is, please. <laughs> Gonna spend the next three streams just trying to find one key. <laughs> Have you checked in the dungeon? <laughs> Does it count as a forfeit if I just start weeping during my stream? Um, no. Okay. That, that life magic, really, uh, really a game changer. Very useful. What was that thing? Yeah, I looked it up. Okay. Did you actually, or are you going to do a bit? 
If you're getting, if you're primed and right, you just copy and pasted your bit into chat. I will, I will ban you. <laughs> this is not the falling blocks room. This is the falling block room. Wait, so the falling block room leads to the hand? Because I already got the hand. <laughs> uh, I think so. Ah, uh, son of a... I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm out of options. <laughs> Keep going east. You'll encounter in suits and a mace throw at the end. This is so this would be this is Okay. Yeah, tell me if I'm reading this right. You're telling me I need to go right here on the map, right? We're right here, and you're saying go out, go down, and go here. Am I, am I understanding that correct? Because I'm pretty sure that's where the lock is. I don't think that's where the key is. I'm pretty sure that's where the lock is. I am like a hundred percent sure that's where the lock is, not where the key is. Unless, am I supposed to kill an enemy to get the key? Can you tell him a trick? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, pl please give me anything. <laughs> Have a video guide. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you miss a key earlier? Maybe. <laughs> Does anyone have like a? Can someone find me a PNG? A JPEG of a map of the level. That would be really helpful. If I could get a JPEG. It's just a map layout. That would that would get me out of this place. I just saved it. Yeah, he's still on dungeon two. Do we have? I don't know if we have what you're talking about yet. Map. Here is a map. Okay. Okay, hold on. He's trying to find a key. He's missing a key. Which is, uh, you know, we haven't played this for two weeks, so it's really difficult to remember what he has and has not checked. Okay, come down here. I've done this. I've done this. So this, the right section of this, gone. Uh, obliterated. Don't need to look at that. Over to the left. Done this. All the... Remains is this. Oh, uh, it's right there. It's right there. It's 100% right. You see that? You see this? It's right here. 
We got it. We're good. We're cooking now. That's all I needed, chat. Thank you. Mods, go ahead and uh, mod Kirby. Money, please. No, no, I said mod. Mo mod him, not money him. Good, uh, you know, good attempt. <gasps> this is fucked up. This is fucked up. <laughs> it's a, uh, you're going to be finished with the game, and I'm going to still have to do, like, four more streams. <laughs> <laughs> This item is... We got, like, the seventh item. I don't know if... I don't know. This game has no order, aside from the first couple parts. I just feel a weight has lifted off of me. Oh, my God. I mean, I guess I'll feel more that way when I actually finish the dungeon, but... <laughs> Finally knowing where I need to go after two hours. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty nice. Bro. What am I supposed to do when he does that? He does his double. You jump over both of them? There we go, there we go, there we go. I just uh, loaded my save state like a dozen times in a row because I kept just accidentally walking into a slime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, okay, I see how to use that. Okay. Where was yeah, that? we're making progress. We're making progress. I gotta bring up the map. It's to the right. Okay, last floor to the right. Okay, that was like a mini dungeon. Uh oh. What's this? Oh. My uh, my NES uh, mouse cursor. Yeah, this area is still way too difficult. Please, please, please. It's happening. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I think the real race is what'll happen first. Um, you beat the game, or I beat Temple Two. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh my God. Key acquired. Now let's finish this. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Well, yeah, the uh, downstab is kind of busted. Yeah, downstab's ridiculously good. That's why it's the one thing everyone likes about Zelda 2. Oh, my chat, uh, my chat's gonna tell me where the key is now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> why is my chant filled with such fuckers? And yours isn't. Uh, the, uh, the chat reflects their streamer. Oh my god, I can't believe you would say that. <laughs> what, are, what are you implying? I am implying that you're uh, a fucker. What'd you describe them as? Stinkers or fuckers? I think you said fuckers. I said fuckers. Stinkers is different. Stinkers uh, are like fuckers, but then they're nice to you. That's a little stinker. A little, you know, being a little cheeky, that's being a little stinker. My chat are fuckers, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's this area? <gasps> oh, I can kill the landmines. <laughs> What the hell? Landmines? Where the hell did yeah. you go? <laughs> oh, just further along. They start introducing the landmine enemies. Oh, Death Mountain was a fucking war zone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> all right. That's pretty big. This is fucked up. I'm never going to catch up. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, it's kind of a huge W to get through Link to the Past first. I think it was probably a huge W to get through the second temple uh, two weeks ago. So that <laughs> you didn't spend two hours going, I don't remember where I am. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Going on thunder. What was this? Yeah, I've been in this dungeon. I don't remember. Is here? I think it's just XP. Yeah, the dungeon's just XP. We might have a bigger problem than not finding a key, and that is. I have one block of health. <laughs> I don't I don't have to walk all the way back. It's another shortcut. Hmm. Going on, Gavin. Were you were you one of the fuckers? Were you being yes. a fucker over there? Yes, he was. <laughs> Gavin was. See, now he's going to go over to your chat and he's just going to be nice to you. He's just, he's going to be posting full walkthroughs over there for you. But in my chat, he's over here. Yeah, I think the key's in the dungeon. <laughs> Was he wrong? I mean, no, but like... <laughs> Is 
Never gonna get out of this temple. <laughs> There's one iron knuckle I can't beat. It actually might be better if I take the game over. What if I start the whole game over, but I play the, the first person remake of the game? That be allowed? Yeah, what's going on? If I um if I start the whole game over, but I play the first person remake. The first person remake. Yeah. Way back in the day. So Fun fact, this is how I learned about Minecraft. Um, was that someone shared a Unity remake of, of Zelda 2 uh, in first person. And then th someone commented on that. Wow, this is like Minecraft. And I went, what, what is Minecraft? And looked that up. That was like <laughs> 2009. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure you could probably find that first person remake somewhere. Chat's saying that we should have raced Link's Awakening, but I don't think that would have been fair because I've played that game like three times. But also, yeah, I think Mike would, he'd crush me. But also, I'm the grandpa gaming, so I, uh, I boot that game up and I would forget everything. So, <laughs> yeah, then it'd be an even race. Mods ban him. <laughs> Chat, you're going on fucker lockdown mode. No more fucker comments until I get out of this temple. All right, now, okay, now you guys can come over here. We're the non-19, <laughs> we're the 1985 chat. <laughs> you fuckered too close to the sun. <laughs> I need supportive comments right now. What's it, uh, what's it called? Sanctuary. You've got the fucker sanctuary over there. <laughs> yeah, we don't have moderators over here. So if you get banned, then you know you've personally pissed. You've yeah, personally, uh, felt my wrath. All right, we're back in business, chat. I did accidentally use my magic on jump again, but we're okay. All right, this is it. Boss time. Who's this? Sir Didymus? What the hell? This boss is easy. Do you find the second boss really easy? A lot easier than uh, some of the enemies in that dungeon, yeah. What the hell? You just, just smack his two helmets off and then keep jump slashing him. It's easy. Yeah, he was really not that bad. Oh, wait. Wait, where am I? Is this just a dead end? I need to get down there. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't. That's where I was earlier. Hmm. Okay. 
Alright, um, yeah, he's easy, except for I can't beat him. I keep eating shit. I've become too save state happy. I'm like, or more load state happy. I keep just resetting. I'm the monster I swore to destroy. <laughs> harder this game or dark soul um well i got further in dark souls yeah that's true i i did i maybe i said this last time that i prefer dark souls over because dark souls at least allows experimentation yeah there's only so much you can do with four buttons and a d-pad <laughs> I don't remember having this discussion with you, but I'm sure my reasoning was justified. Hmm. Hmm. I would never say something uncouth to the defense of a video game I've never played before. I would never do that. I don't remember the context. Please. He left? My man left. Wait. More. Oh, please! Please! Dark Souls is hard because it's made to be hard. Zelda 2 is hard because it's poorly designed. Now that's, that's the kind of shit that I was reading on Backlogged. That's the kind of opinions I've been seeing about this game. Hey, this, I remembered to put the, the gem in this time. It was the last time where I beat it and then just walked out. <laughs> I did it. Beat Temple 2, guys. Can we get can we get a uh, poggers in the chat? <laughs> Now where do I go? Oh, I found the strategy to the bats. I just have to down thrust. That's just how you beat every enemy in this game. I actually don't know where I need to go now. I feel like my life has no point. <laughs> Back to the town of water. You haven't uh, made it to Temple Three, right? No. Okay. Actually, I'd really like for you to catch up to me because I think I'm starting to get stuck. Uh-oh. Well, then you better, uh, better give me some tips. Better give me some advice there. Well, I'm kind of asking you for advice. Where's Temple 3? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't agree to you getting help from chat until I get there. <laughs> Did you figure out what that goddamn little slime was talking about? About his master uh, being... Yeah. Okay, you did? Yep. <laughs> it's just me, the frig off. 
What is north of the river? Once, once I get the down slash, I think I'll like this game way more. What the hell does north of the river mean? What could that possibly mean? I like a lot of the, like, lore in this game, though. Like, I like the ideas that this game brings in terms of, like, there's the eyes of Ganon are always watching, and there's, like, a cult trying to resurrect Ganon, and I like that. I think that's, like, dark in a fun way. Dark in a cool way. Uh, what was Ganon's deal in this game? Is he back? Is he alive? That's what they're... They need, uh... They need... Hold on. Oh, okay, I'm good. Uh, they need, uh, Link's blood to resurrect Ganon. Is this in any way related to, um... Zelda th uh, 3? Uh, it's the same Link, right? But that's about it. No, no it's a it, Link in uh, Link to the Past is a different Link. Oh. It's an it's a earlier Link. That's oh, yeah, I guess a, it would be. But it's a Link to the Past. Hmm. Um, okay. Okay, so beating that temple did fuck all. <laughs> Nothing was really accomplished by doing that. Um, hmm. Master who's <laughs> north of the river. What in the goddamn does that mean? There's a lot of rivers. Guess I just wander around in the woods up here. <laughs> what a good game. What a just good <laughs> game. <laughs> to accept tips from you, Pellet. Tell me any either. Um... Any thoughts on where to go after Oh, Temple okay, two? you're looking for that guy? Uh, I think you're on the right track. What were you doing? Uh, the, like, woods above Watertown? I was just running around in there. Yep. 
Good game. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never went in. Oh, I guess I did go. I can't bring myself to hate this. I, I don't know. It's not good. From a, like, design standpoint, I guess. But I I like the moment-to-moment the -moment gameplay. I just wish it wasn't so fucking obtuse. That's my hot take. Feel, I don't know. Feels crazy that like defending a Zelda game is a is a hot take. But I mean when the Zelda game is Zelda 2, I guess it makes sense. I really was surprised to like boot up. I I looked at it on backlog and yeah, people were fucking thrashing this game. And I was really surprised by that because I, I always thought this game was like just really hard, but still liked like Ninja Gaiden or something, you know, like like a, a lot of NES game. Um, but no, people people really don't like this game. And, you know, after playing it, I get it. But right now, I don't know if I feel the same way. It's fun when you're not stuck. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it was less obtuse about its shit, I think this game would be more well-regarded. Um, shit. Where to go? What to do? Weird. Why does this... Enemies didn't trigger, but it took me... Why? What? There are no enemies, but I got taken to a battle. Interesting. Why? Huh? Oops. That was actually the wrong button. That's the one I wanted. We're gonna experiment. We're experimenting. Am I am I reading too far into this? There's a spot in the forest. Where the trees are cut down, like you get sent into it, into an action state. The trees are cut down. Um, I'm looking right now. Yeah, could you exit that tile? Or is that a encounter space? Because I have an idea. That. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was standing still. <laughs> Um, 
I was thinking it was maybe just a fairy space. If there was no fairy. I'm going to piss blood. I don't think that's... I don't it's weird, think that's though. it. Right? Like, it's very strange that there's a spot where you, you, no matter what, you get sent to an encounter and all the trees are cut down. Like, that, that is very purposeful placing. But for, like, what? So, do I just have to run around at random to find the master in the woods, I guess? Right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Will I know when I find it? Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll put you into an encounter. Pissing blood is bad. You should see a doctor. Great news. Mike does have health insurance. <laughs> I yes, piss blood like all the time. Your, your sick daughter. Where is your sick daughter? Why would they design it like this? I mean, I guess you gotta like, you know, you gotta crash your car to learn how to drive. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'll never know until you like accidentally kill a family of. Fairies, please. Please, fairies, please. He did that one. God, I bet they made a killing on, like, Nintendo power issues with this game back in the day. <laughs> I bet they made so much fucking money. Because they probably, it probably wasn't, like, one issue. And it was like, hey, here's a walkthrough for Zelda 2. I'm sure it was months of, like, and the next issue, we're going to show you how to get to Temple 3. And you had to, you had to get that issue, too. I bet they made a year's worth of money. Off of making this cryptic. Man, that sounds kind of kind of awful. Yeah. For just a moment there, I did reminisce on a. Uh, I think I uh, no, I don't know why. I don't know who paid for it, but we got had a subscription to Game Informer. Hmm. And uh, those are a lot of fun. I really liked reading through those and seeing... They would have the segments that were like... They would have like a whole chapter dedicated to one game with like... Double page... Like... Layouts and whatnot. I yeah. really like those. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to hit. So Game I Informer was free if you had a uh, GameStop Power of Rewards membership. So that's probably how you had it. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I'm a huge, or at least I was, huge Game Informer fan. Huge, huge, huge. I was literally in a in a fan group for Game Informer stuff. I've met the editors for Game Informer several times. Um, that was a good-ass magazine. It's actually, like, I remember the first... 
So I remember being like really into Mario 64 DS. And then I remember God, I started reading Game Informer in 2007. This was around then. They used to do GI Retro towards the back of the magazine. Um before they they kind of I think it was issue 200. Or no, it was right before issue 200. They like completely changed the magazine and cut a lot of stuff. Um, but I started reading in like the 160s. Um, so anyway, so they would have GI Retro towards the back of it. And I remember opening GI Retro and there was a thing about Mario 64. And it was like the neurons in my brain fired off of like... Oh, that's what the 64 and Mario 64 DS means? <laughs> there was another game? And I, I honestly attribute that to, like, getting me into retro games. Like, that moment opened my mind to, like, there is a lifetime of games that came before I, I was even born. Big Game Informer head. I have I have a lot of of nice things to say about all of that stuff. I still haven't found that master. <laughs> I have um I have all my old game informers. Probably got like a hundred plus issues of Game Informer, but I have an ungodly amount of PlayStation Magazine from the early 2000s because uh, some guy was going to throw them away. Uh, I went to a yard sale and I bought like, he was selling PS1 games and I bought all his PS1 games and then he was like, oh, you, hey, you like games? I was like, yeah. He's like, hey, you want this? And he had, I mean, it's literally like two giant boxes that are so heavy that like, it's kind of impossible to pick up. And it was filled with PlayStation magazine and PlayStation two demo discs. And then there was some like PC gamer and some EGMs, uh, e electronic gaming monthly. Like it was just filled. So I have all these old gaming magazines and they're just kind of in my closet because I don't really have a way to display them. Um, and they've all been, they're all online. Like, I, I don't think there's a single thing I have that hasn't been scanned and put on internet archive. So not like I'm sitting on a gold mine, but I'm sitting on something that I wish I could bust out more. That's a, I mean, magazines in general are a, a dead art, but gaming magazines, I used to love, doesn't really exist anymore. Hmm. Game Informer still does. You can still, uh, if you have a Power Up Rewards membership, you can still get it, but it's like the page count is like severely trimmed down and all of the people that I loved at Game Informer exception of like maybe two of them were either laid off or quit after the layoffs or it's just uh it's just not what it was mm, i see i see did it uh, take you to find the master i got really lucky and okay. i just waltzed into him so i was thinking it was going to be something stupid and like cryptic yeah. uh and it was and like a moth to a flame i just darted right into him there's that cut down tree thing again
Is it was it in the trees or was it in the flowers? It was in the uh, it was in the forest tiles. Did you speaking of like old games media? Did you ever watch like G four stuff like that? Um. Uh, I might have. Uh, so we, I don't think we had G4 with our cable plan. Mm. But my grandparents had a much nicer setup. Yeah. So I believe, yeah, we probably did, when I was there, we probably threw on G4. Okay. Yeah, I was the same way. I never had... I didn't have G4 for years, but my grandparents had like uh Direct TV. They had we had uh a De it was a Delphia at the time before it became Comcast. Um we had that and they had they had Direct TV and so they had like Nicktoons Network and Boomerang and then they had G4 and we were oh my god, I was so obsessed with G4 whenever I was a kid. Every time we go up there you know, we'd go up there for like Easter and Christmas and I would just be like, bye. And I would just go, <laughs> go to the, the basement in a TV in the basement. And I would just go down there and just spend the whole time watching G4. And then I would get yelled at for doing that. And it was like, you don't understand. There was a gamer television channel. You don't <laughs> understand. Uh, and then around like, 20, I want to say it was like 2011 Comcast uh, I don't know what happened but like we got all those like extra channels and uh, so like I was watching I was watching G4 like every night until it kind of died um, every night I'd be watching X play and attack of the show be like wow gaming Wowee. And then, yeah, then G4 shut down. <laughs> mm. But I've done, um, I've done streams of like watching old G4. Um, and it, uh, I'm going to say it doesn't hold up is, <laughs> is my take. You'll just be sitting there enjoying it. And then you'll hear the most fucking racist thing you've ever heard. And it's like, <laughs> what? Why did they say that? It's because they wanted to dunk on Japanese game developers. And it's like, what the fuck? It's a uh, rough man. Yeah. Classic gamer moment, especially early two thousands, classic early two thousands gamer shit. Just like, yeah, uh, Mario that's for babies, but Twisted Metal Black? Now that's gaming. It's like, what? I mean, they literally, G4 literally gave, um, I think it was Mario Sunshine. It was like, guiltiest pleasure. And like, I've got opinions on Mario Sunshine, but like, they literally gave it that and their entire thing was like, <laughs> yeah, it's a kid's game, but it's a pretty fun one. It's like, it's fucking Mario. <laughs> it, it's great. <sighs> but I will say, like, a lot of that mentality going back to Game Informer, like, I remember that kind of like, whoa, J Japan is crazy kind of mindset being all throughout Game Informer when I was a kid reading it. And then now I look back at that stuff and it's like, I, I don't think they were like crazy. I, I think it was just, uh, they weren't making like six Call of Duty games a year. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I find, no, I didn't find it. I'm. Uh, why does. Why? This is now a running bit in these streams. But I, I, I reach just a chokehold point of RNG and get fi fucked.
Was there a specific, like, area of the, of the forest that you went to? Um... It's not the forest. I'm pretty sure, unless they're connected at some part, it's not the forest. Right above you. The one, the patch, not the patch, but that, like, group of forest area right above yeah. you is where I found it. Why do I keep... I don't understand... This is like the second time. There's at least two tiles that I've triggered this stage on. I don't know why. Right, we'll just keep running around this then. History is funny when you think about it. Company with a past involved the Japanese mafia produced nude women, Hanafuda cards, ran sex love hotels, saved gamings. And then dedicated their games to kids. Mm -hmm. Mafia. Oh yeah. Or the Yakuza. D N Nintendo. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that and because we we did talk about this before in my chat. Yeah, I didn't know. So I, I knew about the cards. Did not know about. Did they? Did, did they? All, they also did the love hotels. Yes. What so is their the connection with the the yakuza? Uh I'm not 100% sure what it was, but it was it was something, you know, it was like in the eight like 1872 when they started. Like it was towards the start. I didn't know or, Nintendo was that old. Oh yeah. Could still be going on today, you never know. Isn't it interesting? Hmm that they name their mascot to give him an Italian name and who and who and what's the biggest mafia in the world Italians hmm. Hmm. Think about that one have you played Hanafuda it's a a game <laughs> No, I've not played Hanafuda. Is that a video game or a card game? Because as far as I was aware, Hanafuda is the type of card. Think about this. Fucking, oh my god damn it. <sighs> yeah, that, that, hey, you, it sounds like you're playing <laughs> Zelda too. <laughs> <laughs> but think about this. Let me Let me draw another line here on the board. Nintendo, Yakuza, the game series. Who who made those games? Nintendo, and uh, let's just say the cookies are crumbling. I think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's ask. Okay, ask error in Ruto. <laughs> you remember error? I do. I remember a guy saying error. I wish I, wish I could be doing that right now. <laughs> Why do I keep getting this tile? I don't understand. <laughs> what do you want me to know, video game? Please. All right, wait. This is actually big. I think I'm onto something. Oh, I think I found it. Oh my god, hello! Bagu is my name. Show my note to Riverman. Was that the master? Go see. Ah. Find out in RP. Ah, uh, fuck me. Biggest game for Hanafuda cards is Koi Koi. A lot of stuff to remember. It does seem to be that way with uh with the well I don't know the only Eastern games I really know are like um what is it what's the game from uh. Final Fantasy 14. 
Triple try. I know. Wait, do they have that? In... Yeah, they do. Hang on, is that what I'm thinking of? Yes. The one with like the tiles. A uh, triple triad isn't the one with tiles. No, you're thinking of um. Mahjong. Yep. My brain kept yeah. saying Mancala, and that's not the right <laughs> one. Mancala. Dude, do you want to do a Mancala stream sometime? Uh, sure. I I don't know what that is. Let me double. I mean, I've heard of it. I can't think of. Mancala what it is, is the one the where you got the little gems, the little beads. And you oh, gotta, yeah. you like drop them around. Yeah, yeah, we play that all the time in elementary school. I liked, I really like Mancala. Yeah, I do too. I'm sure there's like a tabletop sim, Mancala. There absolutely would be, yeah. Oh, Bagu, I can help you. Did it. Okay, we need to go. <laughs> ah, ah, okay. We're on to something. Never played 14. It's a lot of fun. It's a very big time investment. Ah, well, I, uh, it only took me two and a half years to get caught up on the story. What, what is, what's two and a half years uh, you know, in dog year, you know what I mean? Like it, it <laughs> I don't even know what I mean by that one. <laughs> what the fuck is this now? I did it. Oh fuck. I'm at, I'm at the death mountain maze. Let me guess. I don't have, don't tell me, but I'm pretty sure I don't have what I need for this area. I hit the wrong button. Uh, did you do the the maze? Did you get through all that? The um, area over to like the bottom left. Yeah, you cross the bridge at Watertown. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Unless there's something I need to find in there. I thought this was. The Death Mountain Man. Maybe it isn't. Yes, I'll find out in the RP. Okay. All right, awesome. Thank you. The swamp. We have to f Yep, yeah, we're doing this again. All right, every single tile. What's going on? Gotta find something in the swamp that I don't know if I found before. Oh. Uh, very cool. This game needs, like, repels from Pokemon. That's the thing, man, is I, uh, when I was a kid, I hated random encounters. So for the longest time, I just thought I hated RPGs. Um, and, uh, turns out, no, I, I like RPGs. It's just the random encounters have to be like, not the most fucking annoying thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I loved Final Fantasy VII, and that game has a ton of random encounters, but, um, they weren't, they weren't, I never, I never got, like, 
that immediate feeling when you get hit with a random encounter and you're like, oh, fuck off. Because you know, you're like you're on a train of thought and then you get hit with it and it completely derails your train of thought. Um, that never really happened with, uh, happened with uh, Final Fantasy VII. Hmm. That game's just good, turns out. Turns out one of the most acclaimed games ever. Good. Good a thunk. Maybe I should come back next month when you two finally make it to the finale. You think it's only going to take a month? Yeah, a month is a, uh, that's a nice wish. <laughs> Check back in a year, maybe. <laughs> Or keep watching now. See how it all unfolds. You never know. We could surprise you. Not down. Let's try. I did think that we would beat the third dungeon tonight. And I, I, think, I think we're going to be lucky if we get to the third. Yeah, I kind of don't have super high hopes that we'll find it. Yeah. All right. Once I get there, uh, if I can't find it, I'm down to take, take help from the chat then. But right now, this is giving me a great opportunity to try and catch up. been here oh no uh, you're erring on the side of niceness there you go that's how you reel them in you gotta smack him with a whip sometimes huh <laughs> You gotta hit him with a cattle prod sometimes. I don't know what we're talking about. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't. Please don't die. Perfect. You dickhead. Okay, we're all right. Life goes on. I would say I probably got about one more hour left. All right, that works. Can't I can't do like last time where it was like midnight and I'm like. Please, I, I need to go to bed. <laughs> Can't do that again. <laughs> that, like, fucked up my whole week, so... <laughs> but I will say, you know, we haven't... I, I feel like I haven't made as much progress, but I definitely have enjoyed tonight's session way more than last time. I don't dread playing this again like I did. Yeah, I'm uh, excited to see what's next. Yeah. going up Oh 
Um, it's now just come back and hit me. You you haven't seen back to the future. That's we gotta fix that. Okay. We can do that, but uh you have to put family guy funny clips in the bottom left or else I am I'm not just doing gonna, that. <laughs> I'm gonna zone out. <laughs> this is fucked up. One of the greatest popcorn flicks of all time, and you're just gonna zone out. I watch airplane. I like airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you said popcorn flicks. Yeah. Yeah, I'll watch airplane instead. That's not <laughs> <laughs> god i didn't know so in airplane they make that there's that joke about like win one for the gipper um i never got that joke and then literally last weekend um on saturday i was at my parents place and whenever i'm at their place i always watch sort of classic movies and they were showing uh this movie this like early 40s football movie called uh uh Knut was it Knut Roxen or something like that all american and it's about like this real life coach in Notre Notre Dame Notre Dame whatever um anyways uh there's a the quarterback in that movie is George Gipp the Gipper and in the movie, he like dies and they give like a really at the inspiring speech to get the team together by going win one for the Gipper. So that's, um, you would, when I heard that, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Because George Gipp is played by Ronald Reagan, um, in that movie and hmm. win one for the Gipper was Ronald Reagan's campaign slogan. Huh. So the reference in, in airplane of win one for the Gipper is a reference to Ronald Reagan's campaign slogan at the time. I never got that until now. That's an interesting piece of trivia. Yeah. Hey, there's Never a lot of pop that. culture stuff that flies over my head with that movie for obvious reasons. Yeah. Well, I, th I think if you were watching something and they went, yeah, and we got black and white TVs, you'd be like, they got what? Huh? <laughs> How did they live? Okay, that's not what I thought it was. That's not what I needed. Do you think you could live, if you got sent back in time to a pre-internet world, do you think you could live? Um, with the, 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 no. Okay. No, I, I, it would be very miserable time, I think. I appreciate how quickly you came to a decision on that. <laughs> I'm not saying Back to the Future is boring. I haven't seen Back to the Future. No, he's saying that all movies made before 1997 are boring. Um. Yeah, kind of. Oh my god. Except maybe like Airplane. <laughs> I'm a one of these days. I'm actually like gonna have a stroke over this. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know you're doing a bit, it's so like an antithetical and an yeah, antithetical to like who I am as a person that just you doing it as a bit raises my blood pressure. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I had a lot of XP there. I probably shouldn't have actually given up that that run. I feel that. That's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, 
Uh, Kirby's Cocaine pissed bear off. Greater than yeah. Chat. My chat is also not not happy with my takes. <laughs> Kirby's pissed because Billy Madison came out in like 93. So that's his favorite yeah, movie. I, yeah, sorry, I don't know what that is. <sighs> Chat, he said it, not me. He said it, not me. 95, why sorry. Is, why is your channel platforming my views though? <laughs> <laughs> why are you letting me do this? <laughs> Cocaine Bear greater than anything Capella made, says Crunch. Who's Capella? Capella? Capola, sorry. Capo Who's Capola? C-O-P-P-O-L-A. Is that not like a director? Coppola? Coppola? Is that how, is that how it's pronounced? I, I, read it to me again. C O P P O L A. Yeah, Coppola. You know who do you know who Francis Ford Coppola is? No. Chant. Heed my warning. This is the future we have wrought by dismantling libraries, by dismantling the Sunday night movie. We have wrought a generation who does not know the history and the forefathers of the media that they consume now. Take heed, my children. Show your Zoomers. Show your Gen Alpha. Show your young millennials movies made before they were born. Stop pretending that Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed is a good movie. Stop pretending that uh, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a good movie. Show them film. Show them cinema. Let them indulge in the riches of art. <laughs> this is fucked up. Nah, I'm good, dog. I'm gonna stick with the, I'm gonna stick with the uh, the 2020 Grinch or whatever. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Somehow that's a worse option than the 2000, the live action Grinch. Uh, somehow going with the Benedict Humperdinck Grinch is is a worse choice. Um, actually, I liked it. It was pretty. It's funny. How many bags of popcorn would you out of five? Uh, I haven't seen, I don't know, probably like a three because I'm just not really much of a Christmas guy anyway. Okay. You're going to get, um, just a, just a heads up. You will be receiving a package soon. Um, open it. Open it. Don't worry about the ticking noise from its side. Open it. Okay. Yeah, I like opening packages. The one fun part of getting things that... I kind of wish that they didn't write down, like, where it's from. Because I have an order coming from Makeship that's not going to be here until, like... Uh, like six months after I placed the order mm. and I kind of want it to be a surprise, but I, it's, it's not gonna, cause it's going to say it's for makeshift and there's only one thing. So I kind of want them to like, just give it to me in like a, like a, like a brown, like a, like lunch bag. Right. Yeah. I, I say do that with all mail, like bills and stuff. Just like rip the label off of it. <laughs> and then when you receive a, you owe $118, you have no idea what it's for. That's pretty cool. I'm dead. When did I? I feel like I'm, I know the answer to this, but have you 
missing like the original Star Wars trilogy? Uh, yeah. I know you've seen you've seen them in the special edition. You've never seen the original cuts, but still, you've seen them. Uh, yes, yeah, I've seen them. I'm trying to think, what are like the most general public friendly movies made before you were born? You ever seen E.T.? No. You ever seen Jaws? Uh, have I seen it all in one sitting? I don't know. But I've seen enough of it, probably. Yeah. <laughs> what constitutes seeing enough of a movie? <laughs> That's a good question. Like, I get... I know the... I mean, everyone knows the plot. I guess that's not a great contender. Or, uh... Yeah. You know, I've seen, like, the channels that upload, like, 13 clips of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen Hon those. <laughs> Honest to God, I've found... I, I will give TikTok this. I have found more great old movies through, like, getting a clip of it on TikTok than... Um, I think like anything else, I will get a clip of like, uh, oh shit. What's the name of that movie? Uh, what is the name of that movie? Um, with, uh, Ernest Borg nine. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll get clips of movies like that. And it's like, oh fuck. That was, that was a great little clip out of my watch list on letterbox. Like, yeah, I'll check that out. Um, a social media, short form social media video like that kind of rules for shit like that. On the flip side of that, you also get, um, I, I will, I think I've seen a clip from every episode of young Sheldon. <laughs> I could tell you every seasonal plot line of young Sheldon. So You, you know, you you take what you can get, I guess. Two sides of a coin. No taste in movies. I have great taste in movies. Just not ones made before I was born. <laughs> I like uh, Interstellar. That was a good one. Isn't your favorite movie, um... Uh... Hubie, Hubie Halloween. Who? Isn't that's your favorite movie, right? Hubie Halloween. Hubie Halloween. Yeah, Hu Hubie Halloween. He's trying to. He's trying. He's embarrassed. He's playing dumb right now. Chat saying it's embarrassed. It's uh, sorry, disturbing rather. <laughs> what what are you making me say? That's your favorite movie, right? You be Halloween. <laughs> isn't isn't your favorite movie The Cobbler? Um Yeah, you, you know what? I do have one. Oh wait, I already have a clip studio paint. Where? No, I don't. Yeah, I'm I'm whipping out Clip Studio Paint. It's, I'm a little <laughs> distracted right now. Isn't your favorite movie The Ridiculous Six? <laughs> <laughs> What's the movie with uh ah uh, something that, something of the giants? I think the one the famous clip of like the really tall child. Uh, who, like, cusses someone out? Uh, uh, I don't know what the name of that... Uh, are we thinking the same... Is this an old movie? Yeah. Um, I don't know the name of it. I know what clip you're talking... The, like, giant kid who's like, No! I don't want to do that! Yeah, uh, right? I think so, yeah. He, and he... But, he, like, he's giant, giant. Like, his head is, like, on the roof. 
Yeah, he's like seven feet tall. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the name of that movie is. I've never watched it. You ever watch The Peanut Butter Solution? The Peanut Butter Solution? No, I'm yeah. not familiar with that one. Uh, it's this Canadian kids movie where uh, this kid finds out that he can grow hair by, like, rubbing this, like, peanut butter on his face. And so he grows, like, really hairy, has, like, magical hair powers. Uh... I, all I remember is that his friend uh, rubs the peanut... This is a children's movie. His, his child friend rubs the peanut butter on his dick. And then you... <laughs> they, uh, puts his, you see him, like, pull his pants up. And then, like, hair, like, comes out the bottom of his shorts. He, like, grows really <laughs> long pubes. <laughs> I watched that, uh, I don't know, like three or four years ago. It was like the first time I ever downloaded Tubi. I was like, what the fuck is this? The peanut butter solution? And it had like good <laughs> reviews. It was all these people being like, one of my favorite movies growing up. Love this movie. And I watched it and it was not good. But that scene of the, ch of the child's pubes growing so long they came out from under his pants. Like is burned into my psyche. Um... <laughs> I will never trust Can uh, Canadians again. They're, they're fucked up. Saying his knowledge of young Sheldon was disturbing. Ah, uh, <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Who here, show of hands, chant. Who here is tuning into Young Sheldon the final season? Who's who's uh, who do, who's not who's ready to say goodbye and who's not ready to say goodbye? You know. You guys excited for the Young Sheldon spinoff? Ellie, if you had one guess what the Young Sheldon spinoff is about, what, what do you think it would be? Um, he, uh, how old is he in Young Sheldon? Uh, I don't know. He starts at like 10 maybe, and now he's like 16. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Child actors do age. They tend to, yeah. <laughs> um, they're just gonna keep going with it. You think that Go it's gonna cross over years. with Big Bang Theory? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're wrong. The Young Sheldon spinoff is gonna be about his brother, uh, Georgie, I think, and uh, his Georgie's wife. Who he started dating when he was 17 and she was 25. We're gonna make a whole show about that. <laughs> <laughs> Love that young Shelter. He's getting that show is wacky. That show's pretty funny. Every time I get a young Sheldon clip, though, um, I feel like every clip ends with, like, a shot of young Sheldon's dad. And, uh, because if you don't know, if you're not up on your Big Bang Theory lore, Sheldon's dad dies, like, when he's young or something. And so I feel like every clip of young Sheldon I get ends with, like, and that was the summer that I found out my dad died. Um, <laughs> so, like, every clip is like, Georgie! Did you eat the pork chops again? And then just like slow motion shot of the dad. And it's like, that was the summer. My dad died. My dad got, a, <laughs> my parents got divorced. And then my dad died. It's like, what the fuck is going on in this show? <laughs> Every episode, they got to remind you the dad's going to die. And they've been doing that for seven seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I leveled up. Okay, my uh, Kirby in my chat is saying he also gets young Sheldon clip. <laughs> it's just the TikTok algorithm, baby. Oh, I found the landmines. Oh, <laughs> I get that. You know what? Two hours later, I get that joke. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got I got it. it. I got it. That's funny right there. I was the summer. My dad died. <laughs> that's every young <laughs> Sean clip. <laughs> He gets a new dad every season. That would rule. <laughs> <laughs> and every se season finale, every time dad dies. Wait, is that where I was? I think that's where I was. Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's another show that I I've never never even once once watched it. Um Oh, I get shameless clips all the time. You ever seen Shameless? Uh I don't believe so. That show's actually okay. But I get I get clips of that all the time and I've never never once watched an episode. Um I get like medical drama shows but like not any of the ones that are like watchable. Like I I never get clips of like ER or like House or something. I get clips of like it, 911 ambulance and it's like a clip of like a guy like stuck in a window. It's like, hey, oh, how do I get out? And then, like, the EMTs show up and are like, sir, we're going to have to cut you in half to get you out of there. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> Please, you got to get me out of here. <laughs> was that his stomach? That was his stomach. Guys, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and that's, like, every clip of shit like that. There was one, I got one that was, like, a guy's penis was frozen off or something. I was like, <laughs> what is this show? <laughs> it was like his penis got frozen and then like broke off and then he went to like the hospital and was like could you put this back on and I was like I kind of want to watch the show now <laughs> this, this kind of rules What are you trying to figure out right now? I am going through uh, every, like, every section of this maze. I want to make sure I've cleared uh, everything in case I missed something. Have you gotten the hammer? Yes. Okay. Well, then you didn't miss that.
think we use the hammer to burn boulders. Uh, yes. That'll that'll be helpful. You don't know of any way to do like a super mega jump, right? No, I don't. So I was thinking about that earlier because there's some of those jumps where it's like, uh, it's either like real hard to land or it was like, if I had a bigger jump, I could do this. Maybe there's something, I don't know. I will be honest. My, um, I, my, my. My trick up the sleeve is how to beat the final boss. I don't really know anything else but that. I mm. I only know that from years and years ago. Another stream going because you guys are lost and talking about peanut penis stuff. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Wonder what GDQ is up to right now. <laughs> Don't tell them <laughs> to put on another stream. <laughs> well, no, it's okay. They have it in another tab. Look, I run like I run eight different tabs of Twitch. All right, I get it. I don't. I run one. I pay respect to my streamer. <laughs> I do too, which is why I watch all of them at the same time. <laughs> How many more caves you gotta look for? Look in for this maze. I don't know. Uh, we'll check in a second. Probably a lot. Trying to live my life like I'm watching the end of Network. A movie? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I mean, I've seen Network. <laughs> the end of Network has to do with, like, <laughs> biblical preachings and, like, assassination attempts. What is that? <laughs> Eight Twitch streams all at once. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about like you watch, you watch everything with like a sniper rifle. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Mike can figure it out when he gets caught up. If I get caught up. <laughs> right now I have to redo this get the hammer thing because I gamed over and it's it's driving me insane. I can't do it again. That's not the run. I really feel like most of the enemies in this game, the strat is just jump slash. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the conclusion I've also come to. Good game design. Do you think if we showed Shigeru Miyamoto these streams, he would like lower his head in shame? Be like a like a sad dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he would. Do you think he? Um. You think he remembers how to beat it? Probably. He's probably, he's probably done it so many times. The game's not even hard to him. Well, there was nothing over this way. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh. Oh, I got my magic. In. Okay, never mind. That was cool. That was worth it. I, I thought for sure I just fell into a hole. It was going to get, like, taken to super death dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Still didn't get... You have a health upgrade. You got a heart container that I did not get. I got to figure that out at one point. And I'm just happy to be out of Temple, too. <laughs> I gotta be honest. <laughs> that seemed like an insurmountable task. Yeah, Miyamoto just calls this game Link's regular day. How easy it is. <laughs> yep. That's uh, why does some of the enemies steal experience points? That's that's such a dick move. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hmm. Oh, I see, I see. I see. I died. Oh, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did too. My, uh, my grandpa to say, uh, whenever he, whenever, like, instead of saying, like, I see, uh, he would always, he would always go, uh, I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. <laughs> That's just one of those, like, phrases that's just been, like, burned into me. <laughs> because someone who probably heard it from their grandpa, like, you know, said it. Like, just, uh, generational. Do you have any generational phrases? Anything that, like, your grandparents or your parents uh, would say that's just, like, burned into you? Off the top of my head, no, I can't say that I do. Mm. Uh. Mm. That, uh, that, I think that might be the angriest I've ever heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Just one low. Mm. <laughs> I'm deep in thought. Oh, shit. Desperately. Tomb. Have you been to King's Tomb yet? Yeah, I've been to King's Tomb. Nothing there. Yeah, I'm. Maybe I'm he doesn't have what he needs to get to the next palace. No, I think I know what I need because I've seen. I know it from seeing Vinny use it during his wacky runs, but I don't know. I don't know where to get it. What is it? The, uh, the fairy. Oh, the fairy spell? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Please heal me. No one's here, but a church bell will ring. What? <laughs> Lady, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Alice. Oh, okay. I actually I like that the the NPCs are kind of cryptic because it's like um it's like talking to uh random people IRL. It's <laughs> uh, it really captures that feeling of like talking to people in a middle of nowhere town. Like, "Oh, how's your day going?" and they just tell you the most disconnected piece of lore that you'd ever hear. Like <laughs> <laughs> he loves this game smile I kind of like this game I, I'm coming around I mean it's got problems the RNG shit is a joke but when like right now where I'm just exploring and like 
finding new stuff and trying to like piece it all together. I really like that. I really enjoy that. It's a hugely flawed game, I think, but I definitely could see myself liking it. Island Palace in the South. Oh, please tell me we're going to get the down thrust. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Okay. I got the down thrust. Yeah. All right. We're cooking. This is anybody's race now. Wait, where am I? Okay, I'm right. I'm right here. I need to go this way. Oh my god, this game's good. <laughs> Hold on, now wait a second. The map loops around in a good way. Maybe this game's good, guys. Have we considered that? I think I'm just... I'm just, like, Zelda-pilled. Um, so, like, when a game meets the basic... My, my basic need of um, exploring, my brain goes, oh, that's a good video game. Like, <laughs> everything else could be terrible. But if I get to explore, um, I, I lose my mind. Ooh, what a turnaround. What a... <laughs> what a difference a day makes, man. Just... <laughs> Going from dreading playing this game again to like, I like this little video game. Yippee! I honestly think it was the healing spell. I think getting that, that spell changed everything. It does make it a, a lot easier now to make any sort of progress. Yeah. For sure. All else fails, you... Uh, that problem you're stuck on. Have you tried using fire? Have I tried using fire? Yeah. Guy in Raru says if all else fails, use fire. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we can just use handle like you can in the first one yeah i don't think so it 
biggest thing that I feel hurts people to hint from the NPCs is if you don't know the names of the eras, areas, it can get you lost looking for them. Yep, I spent a little while trying to find the town that I needed. We got there. But yeah, places like the swamp I don't think are even named. You just kind of have to get there. Yeah, you just gotta guess. Especially, you know, with the NES graphics, God bless it, but like... The swamp to me looks like a flower patch. And it wasn't until a little bit ago where you were talking about going to the swamp that I remembered it's supposed to be a swamp. So that was like a nice field with flowers. Link really likes just, he, he, he really takes his time frolicking through the flowers. I can <laughs> <Yeah>. understand it. <laughs> Yippee! Yeah. Hey, he used this down thrust. I just need a little a little more XP and then I can die and reset and come up with a new plan. How many heart containers have you gotten? Um that's a great question. I don't know, I have, I have six, uh, bars now. Okay, I do too. So I think, I think maybe we've got the same, same amount. Oh, I, I gotta talk to error. This is this is anybody's race. I'm 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 catching up. There we go. We got there. All right. Okay. Oh my god! It's gonna take. It's actually gonna take thirty minutes for the bat to kill me. <laughs> Out the. Fido is a tunnel. I know exactly where that is. You ever get like, you ever black out from rage that they canceled Inspector Gadget's field trip? <laughs> uh, have you? Oh yeah. You haven't? Why'd they cancel it? No one was watching. I was the only one. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. I would straight up, I'd wake up. I've, I've told the story a hundred. I've told stories like this a hundred times because it's really true. Um, You know, my favorite show, or at least one of my favorite shows as a kid was, was the 2003 Ninja Turtle cartoon. And you could only catch that Saturday mornings. It wasn't, it wasn't on, it, it was on Cartoon Network for a year um, in the afternoons. But other than that, you could only catch it Saturday mornings. And I never really knew what time it was on because it was always moving around. So I would wake up at like 6 a.m. on Saturdays and just watch everything. And this was before like Saturday morning cartoons completely ended. And there was, there was so much garbage, man. There was so much garbage. But I would religiously watch shit like Inspector Gadget's field trip, which was just uh, Inspector Gadget narrating like public domain travel footage. <laughs> um, I would I would watch Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century, watch Liberty Kids. Like I would watch all of this shit that no one has thought about in 20 years, and I think about it every day. It never leaves my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's tragic it's, it's probably you know probably not good for me in the long haul but it sure as it makes for a funny uh, stream bit Thank you. 
Is there a show that you loved as a kid that you think about now and are like, why, why was I that into that? Uh, I'm sure there are. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got one. Yeah. Can't remember what it was called, but it was... I believe it was on, like, Nick for Kids or whatever. Yeah. It was... Was it Ruby and Max? Uh, uh Ruby and Max is, exists with the two little rabbits. Yeah, the two bunnies. I love yeah. that show. I I used to... I was into that show when I was real young until there's an episode... I think most episodes are like this, but there's one where, like, Max is a tremendous dickhead about, like, his toys or something. Like, he wouldn't share. And, like, my, like, five-year-old brain is like, oh, I know how to share. This guy fucking sucks. And so I stopped <laughs> watching the show. <laughs> if the character knew less than me, it just pissed me off. I don't think well this is different than what I'm talking about but like I think <gasps> if you know me and know what I'm into I think it surprises people that I like Steven Universe as much as I do because that's a very like um uncartoony cartoon you know un Looney Tunes ass cartoon and so when people find out that that's one of my like favorite shows um, I think it can... Oh! I'm sorry, I blacked out there for, for just a moment. Yeah. Were you... <laughs> give me that, give I... me that whole speech again! <laughs> nah, it's good. It's fine. <laughs> did you, uh, I, I looked over and you were talking to a wizard. Did you figure it out? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I got what I needed. Okay. Um, I do want to talk to you about... It looks like you're using speed up. Or, did we agree on that? I don't remember that. I'm... All right, okay. If it's invalid, fine. I'll play fucking Superman 64. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just speeding up through zone. Yeah, yeah. I'm speeding up in towns and through zones where I've already cleared the enemies. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to have to spend... 20 more hours than I need to playing this game. <laughs> I I think that kind of invalidate. I don't know, man. I didn't know we were doing that. It kind of defeats the purpose of a race, doesn't it? If the other guy is using super sprint. Yeah, go ahead. Try using super sprint. See what, see what happens. I, I don't know how. <laughs> I never do oh. that. <laughs> We'll call it even with your overabundance of save states last round, Smile. But I'm not <laughs> save stating as much as I'm more. I, you, you still plan on using super speed? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm super speeding through town. When I get stuck, uh, when I, I've been stuck for the past, like, hour. Yeah, I'm super speeding through town. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to it this time, but... Because I, I I know the pain of being stuck for an hour and praying to God that it's something just clicks. But I would say we should disallow. It kind of defeats no. the race. I'll take the L. <laughs> I'll play Superman 64. I'm still going to beat this. <laughs> <laughs> chat, can we get a ruling from chat? What does chat think? I don't super speed through new areas, but I've been through that town like five times. All right, I will allow... 
I'll allow super speeding if I'm allowed an unlimited amount of save stating. Um, yeah, sure. That works for me. I love to save scum. <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. So do you, in your professional opinion, do you think I can catch up to you? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Not too far behind. I just gotta get the bottle and then I need to go south of the king's tomb. Is the uh, the solution to your problem, was it pretty fucking convoluted? <laughs> Um, or is it, was it just like, oh, you missed a boulder? You know, I wouldn't even say that I necessarily, I wouldn't say that was on me at all. I would say that, uh, that was just Zelda being Zelda. Okay. It was the same thing that happened to you in that one town where you had to wander around the town for like half an hour. Okay. You had to just like talk to one NPC that was yeah. randomly spawning. Oh, well chat, get ready. That's going to happen to me, but two times as bad there. I just saved us. That super speed saved us an entire extra stream of doing that. <laughs> Well, get ready, chat, for the entire stream of me doing that. <laughs> I'm really, I, I don't know, dude. I'm, like, actually excited to do, like, co-streams with you. Like, I'm excited to restream uh, and just react <laughs> and vice versa. I, I think that'll be really fun. Will we be in a call or are you just gonna you're just gonna watch me get frustrated? Uh I, I figured we'd be in a call. That works for okay. you. Oh. Stealing content. Chat, you can't sit there and honestly say your favorite stuff I do is gaming. <laughs> Let's be honest, my best stuff is talking to you and reacting. <laughs> You should be pogging about this. The idea of someone else playing the video game should be ex mind-blowingly exciting for you. <laughs> Did pick up a potion. Can I give that to the lady? Like my daughter is sick. I'm out of like. Oh, I wonder if. I wonder if that's what I got. I wonder if that's what allowed me to. If that's what activated her or something. Because I also got a potion and I didn't notice anything happen with it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. Like, that's why I'm thinking that's what I need to do. Because it's not like invite inventory. It didn't increase anything. And that lady was like, hey, my daughter's sick. So. I feel like a potion would keep. Good night, Kirby. Thank you for being here, brother. Good luck at inventory tomorrow. Yeah, I'll just, see you, Curbster. Just, uh, just write down good on each thing. You're fine. Write down uh, five of each. What are they going to do? Check it? Oh, 
want to I want to figure out if this woman is the thing, and then I I should also probably call it. That's all right. Yeah, that works. Kirby says good night to you. Beautiful. Oh, uh, I see we're doing this gimmick. That's fine. We haven't really done this too, too much. I kind of want to watch a speed run of this game. Uh, well, after we finish it, I want to see a speed run just to know if this, if like getting these villagers to spawn is like a manipulative RNG, or if you're just at the at the fucking will of it. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be interested to see how they do it as well. For me, she just, she showed up, like, immediately. I walked into this town the first time, and this old lady popped out of that door. And it, I, it, we were good. But now, it's showing up. Which that just seems like bad game. Like that, that's not even something I could chalk up to like, uh, just a, just a couple of guys learning how to make games. That just seems like someone made a really stupid call. Can't just like trigger the NPC. What I'm saying is, is in my infinite, um, knowledge I can make a better game than Shigeru Miyamoto <laughs> oh wait was it her water of life quick come with me oh it was yeah she's right here never mind it wasn't that bad Could be poor game design, or we could just be bad. But I would never admit to that, is the thing. Well, I'm not bad, so. <laughs> and I got the fairy spell. I really, I I kind of caught up big time because you got you got fucked on that. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. it's back to pretty much even. Anybody's race. Which I imagine is how this game is going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wanna go south of the king's two? I'm going to get to that third town. Oh, 
off. Ghosts. I hate ghosts. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot this. Oh. Thinks he could outdevelop Miyamoto. Let's see that. Yeah, is Miyamoto, does he, uh, does he still do stuff? How old is he now? He's dead. Real? Yeah. Yeah, I could take that guy. He, uh, he heard Chris Pratt in the Mario movie and went, Ugh! killed over. Heart attack. Scared him so bad. It's a weak soul. That's what they've always said about Miyamoto. A weak soul. <laughs> Weak-willed waste of a man. <laughs> yeah, he worked himself to death making Zelda 2. Bad. This was, this was a dying man's last wish. We're shitting on it. Bad. Is there a celebrity that you know you could do their thing better than them? Um, oh shoot, hang on, I'm on a fighting tile. Mm. Surely, surely there's someone. My chat is saying uh, Taylor Swift in The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> chat, I'd like to see you star in Black Adam. <laughs> I could, I could like almost beat like Mark Wahlberg if I, uh, if if I was like I discussed this with you a bit earlier, um, earlier in the week. How I wish I was more Italian because I there's a certain like snark or no, well, New York is what your conclusion was. If I was yeah. either more Italian or like New Yorker, I could match that that level of like snark. Okay. So that's... So how does Mark Wahlberg fit into this? <laughs> he's just really, like, snark, right? He's just an asshole, is his character, every time. Sure. Okay. See, my, my thing is, is uh, Mark Wahlberg, in my brain, I immediately just go to the hate crime he committed... So when you said Mark Wahlberg, I'm like, mm, <laughs> what would you do better than him? <laughs> I think I did that. Need an old lady to get my man. Yeah, you got it. I think I could do a better job of hosting the Golden Glory than that one guy. Than that one guy did. Yeah, did you see that? Can't say that I did. I don't really follow those sorts of events. Uh, the they got a comedian to host the Golden Globes like last week, and he fucking bombed. And then he started like freaking out about it on stage. Uh, you know he's in front of all of Hollywood and it's being broadcast on TV, and he's there like, 
I only had uh, 10 days to prepare. Uh, any jokes you laughed at, I wrote. Any you didn't, that was the fucking writers. Like, he just, <laughs> he just, like, went crazy. Uh, he bombed so hard it was embarrassing. Um, so I, I genuinely think I could do a better job hosting the Golden Globe. I couldn't host, like, the Oscars or the Emmys. But the Golden Globes, I could handle those. I could take care of that. Yeah, I'll throw my vote in for you. Thank you. I, I genuinely don't think I could do a worse job than that guy. Making, like, really, like, misogynistic jokes about Barbie. The camera, like, cuts to, like, Margot Robbie just sitting there stone-faced. Uh, it was fucking rough, man. Now, flip side, is there something that you do that you know a celebrity could do better? Yeah, I'm really bad at Baldur's Gate. I actually saw saw a video of some some actor for a TV show who was really into Baldur's Gate. Hmm. But I think uh, beyond that, I think really anyone could probably 1v1 me in D&D &D and get away with it. Okay. I think The Rock could probably take me in a fight. But that's my cutoff. That's as much as you're willing to concede on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, The the Rock, I, I could probably get beaten up by The Rock. Every other celebrity, though, pfft, I could kick their ass. <laughs> That's badass, dude. That's actually cool. <laughs> I think legally you should be allowed to just, like, fight celebrities whenever you want. You should just be able to kick celebrities' ass. <laughs> Who would you fight? Oh, man. I mean, probably some, like, right-wing grifter type. But um, if I had to go, like, A-list celebrity. Hmm. I know that I could probably, like, vaporize uh, 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 Woody Allen in one punch. So that'd be cool, but... I don't know if you'd really consider him a anymore. Well, I'd consider putting him on a list, a sex offender list, but I don't know if he's really a big draw. Any um, it would be fun though to punch him in the face and he just turns to dust. <laughs> um, I could fight. Um, I could probably take on the Stranger Things kid. You think so? They're 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 getting old now. Yeah, but they're they're all they're still kids. Are they? <laughs> they're like teens. Or teens. That's where it gets scary. Okay, who's a kid? I'd, I'd beat up young Sheldon. <laughs> I beat I beat up young Sheldon, and then he would go, and that summer my dad died. <laughs> <laughs> Smash Bros. style game, but for celebrities. Uh, you know, that. I'm sure they have that on Newground. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, they had a celebrity. So back in the day, there was a MTV claymation show 
called Celebrity Deathmatch, and they made a few games based on that. So, hmm. it's it's out there. It's terrible, but it's out there. Could like have Michael Jackson fight Fred Durst. Know who Fred Durst is? He's a uh, like singer slash maybe rapper. Mhm. Mm yes. Actually, yes. Worried about the kind of life you live that you don't know who Francis Ford Coppola is, but you know who Fred Durst is. That worries me a little bit, but. Yeah, I think Eminem got mad at him in a song once. Uh, okay. That doesn't surprise me. I just need to go south. You know the, like, red ghosts with the eye? Red ghost with the eye? The ones in the graveyard? Yeah. Yeah. I keep getting fucking bodied by these guys. I can't, I can't make it south of the graveyard. I keep just getting fucking destroyed. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. They do big damage, and they steal your XP, and they're constantly on you. Uh... Oh, wait, what if I down slash? Whoa, wait. What if I use my moves in the video game? Whoa. Oh, yeah, that actually helps a lot. Oh, shit. What I should have been doing the whole Oh, maybe this is the tunnel? Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait, down slash is actually fucking me a little bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This next dungeon is here to kind of like just troll you. Oh, fuck. I used life magic and now I don't have enough magic to go fairy mode. Fuck me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Someone's arm till I get some magic, I guess. I just... Uh, Crunch is asking which Zelda game has the most swag. <laughs> My personal opinion? Uh... I, th I think it's... I think it depends on your vibe. I think Majora's Mask is a swagful game. I think that game's got style. That game's got grace. That game even has a funny face. That is a that is a swagful game. But if your vibe isn't colorful, crazy shit, you know your your vibe might be more like. Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. You know, something big and epic and sweeping. That might be your vibe. So that might be... Maybe that's swag to you. Swag is different for different people. Makes you think. <laughs> and when you really get down to it, aren't we all just a little bit swag? Hmm. Think. Haven't seen trolling. Yeah, I I'm very prepared for it to get much worse. What's getting worse? 
Oh, sorry. Was that a question? Did you say what's getting worse? Yeah, what's what's happening? Oh, this game. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> like I said, people people said Dungeon 3 is when the difficulty starts. So, mm. get ready for that. Oh, good. I'm going into this with one life. All right. I've made it to Dungeon 3. Uh, I'm I'm ready to call it a night. You are. Yeah, we can call it here. Okay. Where I'm I'm getting caught up. I might I might speed past you. Maybe. Real. Blink of an eye. You miss it and it's gone. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> All right, we'll um we'll pick this back up next time. I feel like because we didn't hit a bunch of dungeons, it feels like we we made less progress. But the fact that we made any progress at all is pretty good because I didn't think that was going to happen. Yeah, we're we're working our way through it. Yeah get there it might take us six months but we'll get there we'll get there all right well i'll, I'll let you go no talk to you later yep sounds like a plan i'll see you brother see ya good night pelly's chat good night oh. all right chat that is it for me honestly this one better than last time. Can I be real? I ended the last one going, I don't ever want to play Zelda 2 again. I'm ending this one like, I'm interested at what Zelda 2 will throw at us. I'm interested. I'm interested. I don't dread playing it again. I didn't get tilted. I got, uh... Exasperated when I was trying to find that key. But I didn't get tilted. No tilting. No tilted towers. And uh, I'm excited for what's next. Delta 2. Seriously. I'm excited to see what's next. We'll pick that up. In a week or two. Do another one of these. Make a little bit more progress. See where things go. But that's it for me tonight. I'm going to split. Tomorrow, I will be back with Half-Life Opposing Force. Uh, I might even finish Half-Life Opposing Force. Got about halfway through. That was a fun stream, that first one of it. So uh, I'm assuming Part 2 is going to be just as fun. And then Thursday, Popeye speedruns are back. Real. I'm going for that world record. And then uh, Friday, we're going to play more of The Upturned. It was a very good horror, survival horror platformer from the dev of Lethal Company. So good week of streams coming your way. Um... Thanks for being here. Thank you for hanging out, guys. Seriously. Very good time. Very dope time. Uh, should I raid someone? Is anyone around that I should raid? I raid GDQ. <laughs> raid someone? What if I just raid Pelamoon? <laughs> what if I just, yeah, just offload you guys on him and then he's got to figure out what to do with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a dick move, isn't it? Um, nah, I'm not gonna raid anyone. Not tonight. I don't. I don't have it in me to like hang around and be like, "Wow, well, hey, how, how's your stream?" You know, the raid. Uh, the raid. Uh, what's the term? The raid. Uh, niceties. I don't have that in me tonight. But maybe tomorrow. A split. I'm gonna get out of here. Hold on, check this out. I just thought about doing this. Look at this. Hold on. Little uh, vandalism prank. Okay. 
Thanks, that was a good use of all of our time. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll be back tomorrow. Unless something wacky happens work related. Back tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. More Zelda 2. Honestly, did not think I'd be saying that. More Zelda 2. Good night.